All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are back with the critical progression. Uh, it is time to critically progress. Uh, alerts are off as they usually are for these streams, so keep that in mind, everyone. But thank you very much uh, for all the resubs and everything during our startup. So, give me this very impressive your stories, the chronic cards. So, um, as an update, because there have been a couple of things that we've done on like little tiny, little weekly business type thing streams, and this is going to be the next video this is day six for youtube um i want to talk about like just the stuff that we have done so number one um we went around and grabbed the materials because we did the actual farm for the the parts uh for the void rig so this is just building this is this is gonna this is gonna take four days we've just been kind of waiting for it things need to happen and occur yada yada uh, I, I grabbed another reactor out of Duviri. It was on the rotation, so that's, like, also built. So, hooray, we have another one of those. Don't need it, but I have one. Uh, that makes it so that we have... Uh, I think we have I think we have two reactors, three catalysts that are all just kind of extra at this point. We can just use them for whatever, whenever it comes up. So, that's good. The Void Rig is building for whenever we need to do new war, because it is a requirement for it. Um, and hilariously, the Void Rig is building before we've actually gone and done the Railjack quest. Um, because I did everything I wanted to, like, really get done in Railjack without getting one by just joining other people who have them. Uh, so we just need to do that real quick, which should be trivial at best and shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and then otherwise, not, not much has occurred. Honestly, we did our quests and stuff. Like, the Clairvo build hasn't changed at all. We're just still on this. We got the Umbral mods. That's fantastic. Um... And think things are good. I probably would like to get overextended for Calervo. Uh Overextended is probably like the number one mod I would go and grab here, because if I'm using Hunter Adrenaline, I can actually drop Fleeting Expertise and run Overextended instead. So we might do some Corrupted Farming today uh, to get some more of that stuff. Because I'm is the intro to the CPR video is the same every time. Yeah, well, people got to know what's happening. Although I think I'll probably change it at like the midpoint after like the second dream first release has come out, which I think actually the first release is going to include a little bit more than that, but that's not super important. Uh, and then other stuff that we did, uh, I did weeklies. I did uh, the Maru mission. We went and did that. Uh, there will be a guide incoming on that. We actually like recorded for it, so that will kind of go up on the channel. But uh, in terms of weekly stuff, uh, that the Maru mission is done. Um, and then we also, we did a little bit of the new Nightwave, yeah. just kind of basic stuff. There's still a bunch of stuff here to do. Like we still have like multiple permanent weeklies and things. We really did some, just, you know, some short stuff and I mined some gems cause that was part of grabbing, um, Let's the get back to it. void rig stuff, uh, the void rig stuff notably, uh, and this is part of the reason why it actually doesn't matter if I like did that little bit of like, you know, farming and doing all those things to get the void rig. Um, it doesn't really matter if that was on stream cause they're about to change it. Uh, so because it's about to change and those requirements are about to change, it would have been useless for you guys to watch it anyway, uh, for those of you over on YouTube. Uh, so once the, once that changes, I will, of course, make a video on how to get what the new and different requirements are. Uh, and we'll get to test the actual full changes of how the Necromech battles are different and so on and so forth. Uh, so that is a bunch of information about uh, making sure everyone knows kind of what happened in the, the small interim there. Just a couple of little mostly anemic little things that aren't really going to super matter um because they're either being changed or are just like little hop-ons for five minutes excellent armaments. second opinions armaments. on the permanent axe my opinion has remained entirely unchanged i really don't understand why they did the change that they did uh i guess it's fine though uh and then uh, yeah so it is time we need to do uh, yield railjack mission the quies uh, we need to... Oh, yeah, right. This is the most confusing thing about this. Here, you know what? Actually, I'm going to hit record right now. Okay, we need to do the Railjack mission. And for that, we need to do the most confusing thing about it. I know I just repeated myself. Sorry, people in the VOD. Uh, we need... Does it not even pop up when you search this? No, it does. There you go. We need the Railjack Cephalon. We need to grab this. Uh, the stuff needed to build it are all pretty innocuous. Uh, and it shouldn't be a big deal. Just, like, you know, a couple samples, a couple ampules, a couple... These come from, like, the different faction zones, basically. Infested for the first one, uh, Grenier for the second, and then Corpus for the third. Uh, and then an Arokan Cell is pretty generic. You can get that... If you, if you happen to need an Arokan Cell, you can get that relatively easily for a new player from the boss that's on Sarah's. If you happen to be in a predicament where you don't have any. And we will need to build our Railjack Cephalon. 
I really don't know why starting the quest doesn't just like make what happens in one minute happen, but it is how it works. <clears throat> but it's very it's very obtuse for a thing that's on the MSQ to, for, to have this like not just be added to your inventory automatically like a bunch of other things are. Very weird, but it's inexpensive and it's, it, yeah, it's just a little strange. Yeah, Railjack is uh, not going to be a problem, I don't think. Yeah, the, yeah. so for the Necromex, if anyone's fought them recently, uh, some some of the changes, not all, uh, to them got through early uh, before the Whispers update. But the Whispers update is going to be like doing the rest of the changes to the Necromex uh, fights. So I'll have to do that again whenever that stuff comes out. Um, so that stuff can all be updated and I can make like the I want to make the Void Rig a full guide. You know what I mean? That is, that is the plan for that. All right, so we have our Railjack Cephalon acquired now. Means we've acquired this. Crew. Dax. My crew is gone. Tenno. You will do. Awaiting dry dock integration. Also, Kindir sent me something. I don't know what it is, and I'm not going to open it. This is the free playthrough. I can't accept gifts. At the end of the free to play through, maybe we will acquire whatever that is. Uh, but yeah, so for that, we need to go to a dry dock. So if you have a clan, uh, you can go to your clan. If they have the dry dock built, you can use that one. If you are in that situation, I would suggest it. Uh, otherwise, I believe it is the Cronia relay and also the Orcus relay that have dry docks in them. Uh, and you can go to those relays and use those if you don't have one or if you don't have like a clan that has one in my case i know that this clan has a dry dock uh, so we're gonna go do that but if you if you don't have a clan you don't need one for this quest nice thing we can just fast travel to the dry dock enter the dry dock for an achievement I suppose we can head over here yeah yours won't be blue in all likelihood but this one's blue did it what's happening do i have to like enter from here Oh, you know what? I, you know what I've done. You're signed up for Warframe co-streamer drop. I am. The game awards are tomorrow. Tenno, All right, here's my login reward. Tenno, your codex updated yeah, with a okay. new quest. We we made a mistake. Uh, it tells you to go to the dry dock, but you actually have to go in here and click begin first for some reason. All right, now we have to go install Cephalon Sci in the dry dock. Can you not see chat on YouTube? I can see chat everywhere. They also, yeah, we know Whispers in the Wall is not releasing tomorrow. We know that that's not happening. Tomorrow is Game Awards. Dry Duck. Tenno, I am Cephalon Psy. You will refer to me as such. The sentient threat has learned from past defeat. Reforming. Rebuilding. We must rebuild to contain that threat. We will reconstruct an Old War Era Sigma series railjack. A railjack requires a viable command cephalon. I am not a viable command cephalon. I will identify a viable replacement. But first, recover the wreckage. 
Then assembly. Return to your orbiter. All right. Railjacks died with the Orokin. Only wreckage remains. I have identified faint void drive traces on the surface of Mars. Investigate, recover, rebuild. All right. So we have our first mission, which is just to head over to Mars and go get this big piece of thing. Which you can just run over here and do, or you can just go to your menu. But it's fun that you don't usually exit the thing this way. So let's do this for fun. As a laugh. Wouldn't it be funny if they do the thing it's out today? No, no, they already said they're not doing that. Ceaselessly. We must have that rail jack. All right, we need to recover the fuselage. So in terms of difficulty, um, this mission, not very hard. Uh, any of the starters, if you've got a couple mods for them, uh, especially like good efficiency and range mods, any of them can handle this, no problem. Uh, for Volt, uh, if you've got a couple of duration mods on him, then his shield is going to be like insanely good for this. So you should be totally fine. Uh, I'm going to be Calervo, so this is going to be mega trivial, although I do wish I had another range mod on him. Uh, so yeah, it should be super easy stuff. No, you cannot join and help me. I'm doing it solo. That's the whole point of the free to play through is to not Thanks just like have someone do it all for me and show people how to do it. Locate and mark for recovery. I wonder if we'll get more details on the new Archon Shards. Uh, I don't think they're going to spend any time at the TGAs talking about what stats are on the Archon Shards. Come on, guys. It's not that kind of event. People at the TGAs are getting wasted. If you put numbers in front of them, they'll throw up. All right, this is our big piece. All right, so we got to stay within this circle and make sure enemies don't get within this circle. So for that, I'm just going to put up this big AoE that kills everyone, as I am wont to do as Calervo. As long as they're not in the circle, it don't matter. Uh, and because I'm Calervo, I am I'm being chilling. Oh, you came in the circle. This is the no-no zone. You have to die. As long as they stay out there, they're okay. Oh, if they get close, they got to go. But they, they pose little to no threat at best to Calervo. They, these guys are what? They're level 29. Yeah, they're kind of nothing. The, the only real one of these that's going to be a potential issue at all is going to be um, the one on the Corpus Ice Planet. That one can be kind of hard for people because there's a lot of nullifiers most of the time. Drones have established a definite field. Kill the drones. Also, make sure you're grabbing these yellow orbs every time they pop up. If you haven't installed your lens in your preferred Warframe, uh, you should do that to make sure you can pick those orbs up all the time. As long as that guy stays out there, he's chill. Alright, and now we can get out of here. Astroframe integrity, 87%. Component viable. Cephalon Ortis. Rendezvous with Tenno at extraction point. There's actually another Morpheus container here, wasn't there? Uh, no, I'm seeing things. Alright, and we're out. Uh, that's pretty much what these missions are going to be. So, that's pretty much what's up. I'm going to show them all because they're all a little different. But that's pretty much going to be what's up. Hey, bros, what's the plan for tonight? Uh, the plan is that we are going to get the Railjack and then probably farm a bunch of corrupted mods, honestly. Uh, there would be a nice, Ready hilarious power forward. boost for us. Proceed to the dry dock. All right, go to the dry dock. It's just going to send me to the relay, which is fine. 
You really don't have to use your clan one. A squatting corrupted mods? Oh, yeah. Might as well. I would suggest most people squat up for corrupted mods if it's available to them. Fast travel to the dry dock. Boopity-beepity. Here is our main chunk. It kind of looks like a little dog. You can see its ears there. You can see how this is kind of a dog face. Orican outer terminus positions have fallen to the sentient armada. Our orders behead the fleet. My crew, Sukin, Crony, Zada. There are none finer. We are family. We will stop this war in its tracks. We are the Orican Empire's best hope. We were. There is work to be done. This fuselage requires repair. Okay, so for these repair costs, these have been lowered significantly. Uh, you can see I've joined some other players to do some Railjack just through like the matchmaking that's available there. Uh, I have 6,500 cubic diodes. I need five. Uh, so yeah, you're going to have these pretty much no matter what. Certain Xmas on planets, if you don't want to go do Railjack for them, will also drop them too. So it's very likely you're going to have these five, no problem. Uh, plastids, there's a number of good places to get these. Um, it's, where would I go if I absolutely needed plastids? I guess probably I would go farm the Deimos open world, uh, would be the fastest way to grab these plastids. If you happen to not have a bunch, you just go break a bunch of containers over there. Uh, and then for Rubido, um, I mean, any, any place that has Rubido, honestly, like you could do just like random stuff on earth. Um, I think Phobos is also Rubido. So it's like, there's tons of places you can get Rubido. It's actually hilariously kind of the thing I'm like proportionally lowest on. Um, I think that's because I was doing some of the Fortuna stuff. Uh, and then Neural Sensors. Neural Sensors, these only drop on Jupiter. Um, you could do IO for these, especially if you also need Oxium. Uh, then that's going to be a really good place to at least grab a few of these and have like better chances, especially if you're going to do that with a squad. That's a really good thing to do. Uh, otherwise, just running Alibi's boss node uh, on Themisto is going to be good for like grabbing neural sensors relatively quickly especially watching out for um the like special boxes that always have them while you're running through the mission to kill him uh is a good way to grab these so this is all all pretty simple stuff all pretty low requirements and this is going to take we like a, instantly time. for a I minute yet to find a viable command cephalon my search continues yes yeah, so we've got oh credits there you go also 25,000 credits, which is like nothing. Yeah. It's going to be it's going to be 1 minute. Commencing. That's that's what's going to happen here. We're going to repair this and we're going to do the next thing. Yeah, this 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 used to be what? 12 was it 12 or 24 hours for each? Was it 24 and then they made it 12? And then they made it 1 and now it's well, then they made it 1 hour and now it's 1 minute. I th I think the the scaling down was 24 12 one hour, one minute. Yeah, 1.0 was 24. That makes sense. So it's much easier than it used to be to get this thing together. 1.0 was horrible. Yeah, it also, it also used to be an obscene amount of materials. Like a fully stupid amount of materials. Fuselage restoration complete. Propulsion section located. Earth's forests. Beware of hostiles. All right. We need to go to Earth and get the next piece of the thing. I stopped playing this game when Railjet came out. Glad it was much cheaper when I came back. Yeah, so... So just, just to talk about it. So this Our is the Railjet quest. Um, here I'll... We must have that Railjet. Gotta build that Railjack. Uh, to talk about Railjack a little bit as like a history lesson that might be interesting for people uh, watching this video. So Railjack came out and it was following a prior update that also wasn't real well received, which was the Kuva Liches. Um, and then this came, the when Railjack came out, it was awful and hyper buggy. And then they went on um, Christmas break at the same time. And it was, I think rather objectively the optimal time to stop playing Warframe for like two years um, 
And things have gotten insanely better since then, as, of course, over the course of this free to play through, you have probably heard me praise how good Railjack is for new players now, uh, and just how good it is in general as, like, a multi-farm, and, like, it's actually just quite good. Um, but its initial release caused, like, a bajillion players to go do something else, and I honestly can't tell you I blame them at all. That was almost certainly exactly the right call. Um, I'll put this over here. You guys are not allowed in this circle. Uh, and, like, it was, it was real bad. It was truly despicably bad. Um, and I'm, I'm so glad that it is fixed now, but that is, if, if you find people that are, like, just kind of hate Railjack and you played Railjack and you don't get it, the reason they hate Railjack is because it is historically, like, one of the worst updates ever released. Like, it is probably top three worst updates, like, on, on launch um ever for warframe and what the other two are is probably going to be specters of the rail which is an ancient update and then probably vacuum within which is an update that got entirely reverted uh so yeah yeah va vacuum within was like the instantaneous everybody quit update um but they they quickly reverted that because they uh nearly well not nearly enough uh, realized how much they fucked up but it's it's up there so what within yeah they tried to basically remove vacuum from the game it didn't go so hot the vacuum within what's that you don't need to don't worry about that don't worry about that d would like you to please forget and i i would also like to forget the rant video for vacuum within was coming to you live from terra I was actively not... I was immediately not playing Warframe. The Durant video did not even take place in Warframe. Is it still up? I think so. That sounds awful. Yeah, it was... Uh, it was really bad. Every, everyone was quitting. Like, everybody. All right, this mission's really easy, though. We can just head on out. Same as the last one. We got our propulsion systems. I'm glad they added Universal Vacuum. They still didn't do that. That was an incredible rant, though. Thank you. Wreckage recovered. Proceed. To the dry dock. In we go. We have universal vacuum at home, which is good enough. Heading back to the old dry dock. Da -da 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 -da. Next piece goes in. And by next piece, I mean gargantuan propulsion system. Engines. Zada dances our ship through forward lines. Crody identifies and prioritizes targets. Sukin's turrets track. This is the quest that made me stop playing for three years. You're fair for it. Our is earned. Our objective: a Turaga class worm ship. Zada plots an arc. We accelerate. Hmm. Ancient history. The dead have no needs. The living require that propulsion system. Okay, so propulsion system. Uh, once again, some credits. Uh, carbides, five of these. These are the Grenier version of the prior material. That is a, It's a railjack material. Um, comes from some Xmas on normal missions. You're almost certainly going to have five. As you can see, I have almost 9,000. But you probably have at least five. Um, just from playing regularly, unless you've been doing your best um, to just do a full pacifist playthrough of the game, you probably have five of these. Um, cryotic, uh, I think uh, you, due to required missions, have to have enough of this. This comes from excavation missions. Every time you complete an excavation um, little tower, it gives you 100 cryotic. 
Um, so, you know, worst case scenario, this is two and a half of those. Not a big deal at all. Single or row can sell once again. Uh, and then nanospores, which you can see even on the free to play through, I have almost 100,000 of these. Uh, very, very common material. If you've done any amount of getting your corrupted mods uh, on Deimos, you should have just tons of these lying around. Just break the containers as you seed them. If you don't have these, probably go farm some more of your corrupted mods on Deimos if you're not like totally done with that series of mods, uh, as that's probably the best use of your time while also getting these. Uh, but yeah, all super easy stuff. Reconstruction begins. Ooh, a minute. He summarized a one size story. Uh, while this is going, because I'm going to skip it, sure. Uh, editing time. You have to fucking edit this out. Uh, Cephalon Sai is traumatized from losing his entire crew. So he is not a viable command Cephalon because he is massively traumatized from losing everyone that he was in charge of. Yeah, the AI has PTSD. He is not an AI. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Propulsion restoration complete. Void breach residue identified on Lua. Probable nacelle location. Recover if viable. Prediction for release date for Whispers in the Wall. I mean, I can say I hope the 8th, which is true. Um, but also the 13th seems likely. All right. Let's go to the moon. Our enemy rebuilds itself ceaselessly. We must have that railjack. We must have that railjack. All right, in we go. Nearby. Locate and Same deal as before. Also in the chat is asking if Citrine is good. Yes. Yes, she is. She's very, very good. She's actually one of the good options if for a free to play through, except for she kind of needs weapons, but she also has some good damage boosting stuff. That's not a huge deal. I can't not do this room. The upside is too high. So th this is the uh, this is music room. Uh, this is the part of you can get an Octavia part from the well, you will get an Octavia part from this. You can also get you can get a formal for this. He's got to do the thing. There, we can head up here. This is always an Octavia part, and this is not the best way to get Octavia, but that's not the part of this that actually matters. The part of this that actually matters is over here. This thing can drop a fully built form up. It did not. It gave us 1,200 credits, but it can, it can on, it's happened a lot for me, actually. Uh, it can just give a full build form up, if you're lucky, pretty often. So, if you see it, it is worth doing. One count as a puzzle room i'm missing one it does not yeah that is that is not one of the uh puzzle rooms that is like a bonus thing all right here's our part
Okay, we got these boys again. You there, perish. Slam attacks to your friend. Probably just throw this down here. Walk on back. These guys aren't a threat to me, so we can just hang out. Me standing here makes them stand over there, and that's good enough for me. Here we go again, more of the drones. Get rid of him. And I just, I just have 12,000 overguards, so we're, we're big hanging out over here. Nice thing is if, if you have gone and farmed overextended yet, I haven't. Uh, you could actually put overextended on this build and it'll cover the whole thing as Galervo, which is nice. A sentient fighters cannot do shit, actually. There we go. In and out, five minute adventure. Literally. And out we go. My friend got Clairvo and loves him. I think he's going to try to copy my build, which is based off your build. Hell yeah. Was the grind for Calibro like as a free to play? Really easy. Like, not hard at all. Like, not a single part of it is difficult. It took a little while, but none of it was hard at all. Why is your ship red and not green? It's the inside of the frog. The outside is green. I'm why. <laughs> the game awards are not today. No, it's tomorrow. Why am I jumping through this? Fast travel. Chakunk. Zana plots a data gathering lack around the worm ship. Sukin targets exposed launch orifices. Power redirects to the Tunguska capacitor. With Tunguska. the trigger, we will end this. The moment arrives. The moment arrives. Tenno, my precepts. I am not. A viable command cephalon. I will continue my search. Continue repairs. Okay, so credits once again, carbides once again, not a problem. Um, circuits, Venus series, and the Kuva Fortress. Uh, in general, like these might be the hardest thing to get here. Uh, I probably would actually once again say that Ceres is not bad for this. Uh, Sirius has, like, plenty of good farming locations of the Dark Sectors that are there. That tile set actually runs pretty well uh, for Endless Missions. Uh, I probably would advise against Venus, as the Endless Missions there are pretty rough. Um, and if you want to do Kuva Fortress, it's actually also a very good tile for farming. Uh, and if you need other stuff from there, then that's great. But Sirius also has a Roken Cells, which is a huge benefit, usually, to newer players. Uh, Alloy Plate, this one's super simple. Um, you get it from basically anywhere. You're almost certainly going to have all of this. Uh, hilariously, it is the one that I have kind of like proportionally the least of. 
uh because i did sp i know i did spend a bunch of this at fortuna getting some of the nonsense that's there that hopefully changes at some point here um but once again actually because this drops on jupiter you probably want to go to io to get a lot of oxium to get more of your neural sensors and then to get more alloy plate as well uh control modules so these you're going to want to go to the void for control modules control modules drop like candy in the void you will just get tons of them just outrageous amounts of them you can see I have not tried to farm control modules at all and I have 107 of them uh so like technically I had 117 I'll have 107 left uh after putting these in so it's not a problem just go to the void to grab these they are they are growing in the void it is outrageous just dump all that in there commencing restoration you will be contacted upon completion hey, what's up Rachel hey what time is it for you like seven A specific void node that's best for argon crystals no it really depends uh annie is solid annie doesn't have nullifiers which is really good if you want like a really really chill survival mission it's that one but if you don't want to do a survival mission then you're probably going to do like hepit or um the higher level captures just to try and find containers Awards tomorrow yeah why does annie have no nullifiers uh it, it is just part of the mission it's a really low level mission port side nacelle restored she is coming together next site venus all right let's head to venus Our enemy rebuilds itself ceaselessly. We must have that railjack. We must have that railjack. Any isn't a challenge, though. To be fair, mod isn't either, but it's technically harder. Are you looking for a challenge or argon crystals? Starboard Nacelle located we you need this it's the thing clickety clackety the scanner is actually the easiest one to defend because like Sorry, most so of the circle is not even on off. land where the <laughs> where the enemies can go. Interference drones detected. Here's the boys. And here we are. You stay on your side of the line, and I'll stay on mine. I'm done, done one of the game awards tomorrow. How dare you be floating? Drones down. Back to it. Heard some people are boycotting the VGA this year. Yeah. Why? We're not going into it. Them. 
Oh, I do need to grab this. Eat all the focus I can get. Give me that. Oh, no, no. Do not go in the circle. There we go. We're all good now. And we're out. And there's a Sephagoth for free if you watch. Is that true? That is entirely correct. You also get it for watching this stream. You get a nice crispy Sevagoth if you are on this stream on Twitch for the TGAs. to lose 16 form up put him in the wall for time to go with a nice deluxe skin and an adorable fish companion it's true Keto, you are needed in the dry dock gotta go install this thing we need to change the global message about those drops that's just pinned. That goes away. This is not <laughs> the wrong thing. Really used to going to see some RS. All right. Installation. The other half of the ship. Complete the mission. Preserve the crew. Tunguska capacitor charge. Sukin. Pulls the trigger. Nothing happens. Zada reports engines offline. Shields offline. Weapons offline. Personal lights flash on as the first missiles hit. I watch as Sukin, along with his gunnery chair, is sucked into the infinite. I watch as the port nacelle detonates we are spinning zada calls for assistance i am silent Prote's attempts to save our engines proves fatal i watch as he is engulfed in flame zada is alone at the helm she beholds the distant flash of torpedo tubes she says my name the viewplate blossoms she ceases to exist. I do think this story is much better told with the lower requirements. Because whenever it was 24 hours, no one was remembering what Sai said before. Anyway, these materials are all repeats of prior materials. All super easy. Not a problem. This will take some time. Mm -hmm. We're under Railjack, are you going to go? Or are you just unlocking it? Oh, I am already at like five intrinsics with everything. We're in there. That was one of the first things I did on this account. I got the arc wing and I was like, I'm going to Railjack, buddy. It used to be 24 hours. It was outrageous. And we're done. Starboard nacelle reinforced. Soon, cognitive geometries will self-assemble. She will live. But not yet. Transferring tail section data to your orbiter. Time to go get the tail. Yeah, the resources were insanely higher. It took insanely more time. It was all... It was it was rough styles. It was real bad. Our enemy rebuilds itself ceaselessly. We must have that railjack. We must have that railjack. High 
probability of railjack tail section nearby. Clear out hostiles and mark for retrieval. Running kind of low on Rubido. I will grab that as I see it. Was I not in range of any of that? Oh well, it don't matter. It's the tail. This one's also not bad. You have delicious energy inside you. Thank you. Yeah, also delicious nightwave progression. That's also true. How dare you survive a heavy attack? I have this. I'm gonna throw him a four down. Uh, were these parts of the map this whole time, or are they added in a really good way? Oh, they were just—they've just been added only to these missions, I think. I don't think they're in all the the versions of this node that exists. But in in these missions, like they are—they've been added to the the tiles that we know. Some of these tiles are super cool. Oh, yeah. So many drone. So one of, one of the, I will note one of the nice things here is if you're a war from like Calervo that can kind of just like, you know, tell enemies to piss off. Uh, if you make yourself really visible, so like enemies with guns can just shoot at you, it's an easy way to just kind of like they won't walk into the circle because they can already shoot you. They will try and close distance when they can't shoot you though, so that's like a nice tip here by just keeping them out. Whenever you're a warfarin that doesn't care if they're being shot or not, helpful in some cases for controlling where enemies are. There we are. What's the answer? Using I'm using Wise Razor, which took me two hours to farm, which was statistically unlikely. Let's say <laughs> my body is crowd control. Uh, the Twitch Warframe link has me as Mesa because my main account is on Mesa. The free to play through is not hooked up to Twitch for obvious reasons. Install the tail section in the dry dock. What's good melee to use on this one? On Calervo? This one. This is the Azathame. You can farm it as a sidebar when you farm Calervo. All right, let's get this thing installed. Railjack, Sigma series, top of the line. Crew, 4,890 confirmed kills. 
Complete the mission. Preserve the crew. Thirteen system-wide errors. There were no errors. There was only me following my orders. In her final moment, I think Zara knew that. Presets. Complete the mission. Preserve the crew. To complete the mission, the crew must die. To preserve the crew is to fail the mission. The crew exists to complete the mission. Therefore, I completed the mission. Why was I given those orders? Okay. So, in terms of stuff here, uh, everything is a repeat except Argon Crystal. Uh, this comes from only the Void. Um, you can do Annie, which is a survival mission. That's a pretty easy one. You'll eventually get an Argon. Uh, you can also just run captures on Hepit uh, and just look for the crystal deposits in the various rooms, and that is also a decent way to get it. Hepit will give you a much faster and much larger amount of relics, which can be very helpful. Uh, and Annie is just, like, much more simple. You're not going to be running through a bunch of missions and stuff, just killing a bunch of dudes, which can, you know be up to preference but those are probably the two missions that i would generally suggest uh for actually getting these materials i happen to have one uh these do degenerate over time they're not actually super difficult to get really um but they do you you lose half your all your your argon that you farmed each day so it'll eventually go to zero uh if i were to like you know have this farmed for tomorrow or whatnot but i do have one so we're good all super easy stuff to get you will be contacted upon completion it was what, 20 Argon on launch? It was a lot of Argon on launch. I don't think it was 20. It was a lot, though. I remember when this timer was not 60 seconds. Oh, yeah. And ba -ba 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 -dum. you require a viable command, Cephalon. You understand why I am non viable. Replacement Cephalon not yet located. A solution must exist. I will find it. Final component marked. All right, final component has been marked. So let's go get it. Our enemy rebuilds itself ceaselessly. We must have that railjack. We must have that railjack. Now, this is the only one that can really pose any problem for people, I would say. Um, because there are a ton of nullifiers in this mission. Is that thing just built for heavy attacks? Yeah, it's a heavy attack weapon. Housing identified. Visual verification required. Move in. Ruda. Some oxium hanging out there. And here we are. It's our big last piece of the rail jack. So the big the big thing with this is that sometimes enemies can like get in here and it can be kind of annoying. And it's like a big like area up here where there's like, you know, there's, there's a lot of ways for enemies to just kind of just run up on you. 
you can see like it's a very like a you're surrounded type of situation that we've got going on here uh, as, as Calervo, this won't be an issue. If you are any of, like, the starters, it, it could theoretically be a problem. Especially with, like, the nullifiers there. Uh, Calervo doesn't have a problem with nullifiers because Overguard does not get absorbed by nullification fields. Uh, so I can just dive nullifiers and never care. Uh, Orphans like Rhino do lose all their defenses whenever they go into a nullifier bubble. But Calervo is built alternatively. AKA okay, better. Get rid of these drones. Get rid of all these guys. Whenever the next drones show up, I'm gonna go make sure I grab that uh, focus bubble because those are very helpful. Oh, and here's what I mentioned before. His enemies potentially walking up in here can be kind of annoying. Feeling like this real quick. Grab this guy. Grab one. this guy. Some neatly placed slams for all these guys, and we're good. Big AoE there. This guy's not allowed in here. There we go. Pretty simple stuff as Calerbo. Uh, if you do struggle with that mission, though, it is the hardest one of, of the bunch here. Being surrounded can, it turns out, be trouble for some Warframes whenever you are early on in the game. Uh, for ex another, a good example of a thing that you could go get, though, if you don't want to go get Calervo. Uh, if you do Deadlock Protocol first, you could have the Zorus, and the Zorus makes super short work of this mission because it is a giant AoE explosive kill everyone weapon. Uh, so, yeah, they don't like it. Also, super worth getting. Which room's the biggest upgrade going from base to prime? It's Volt. Tenno, your assistance is required in the dry dock. To the dry dock. In we go. Last piece. This is going to be the one I don't have everything for. I'm ready for it. All known cephalons surveyed. None conform to tactical parameters. None possess necessary astrogation poetics. None possess a comprehensive warfighting database. Viable cephalons. Nil. Never mind. I have all the stuff. Uh, so this is salvage. It comes from Mars, Jupiter, and Sedna. Hey, if you go do IO, you'll have a bunch of this. Like many of the prior materials we've talked about, detonate ampules, everything else we've already talked about. All super easy stuff to get. Not a problem. Reconstruction begins.
Does all Overguard get the 0.5 gate or just Galervo? All of it. Voila. Work crews report tools down. Railjack structure complete. Structure reinforcement complete. Systems restoration complete. Your presence is required on the dry dock. Complete. You have a railjack. Tenno, all records of my mission have been purged from the weave. Why, I do not know. I had a crew. I must accept sole responsibility for their deaths. Conclusion, I am non-viable. But I, I am the only Railjack compatible Cephalon. The sentience have almost rebuilt. Conclusion, I am, under the circumstances, a viable command Cephalon. If you will have me. Plug him in. Understood. I will begin the process of integrating myself with the ship's systems. This may take some time. Commencing. You may now enter your railjack. We completed the mission. There's a couple other things to talk about here, though, so don't go anywhere. So if you're watching the quest, this is the part where if you haven't done the Chains of Harrow yet, you need to go watch me do that quest or go do it yourself before I click this button. I search for what is missing. The harder I look, the less I see. Tenno, be my eyes. Where the negative resides, my mind is dissonance. All I know is Lua, will you go? Nav is ready for coordinates. I urge Lua. Welcome to You'll remember this from Chains of Harrow. This is the reliquary key. Stop. Something has occurred. The periphery of absence. I felt it tremble. A desire to be filled. To be known. You hold a key. Return to the orbiter. I believe you have found my answer. Now let's get out of here. Also, yes, if you bought your Railjack, you never see this. Even though this is the most important part of building the Railjack. <laughs> Which is why I wanted to make sure that the quest popped up completed. And people didn't just be like, I'm gone, whenever I have to edit this video. We are close to 
resolution. I can feel it. All right, reliquary key acquired. Box messages now. There you go. We have called the Tempestari, which is you need Rising Tide for it. We need to go put the reliquary key in. That which I cannot find. The negative will be proven. My end shall be at an end. Begin our beginning. Plug it in. All Oroken technology is living. And this is no exception. some random in this relay. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Something moves. An infinite zero. Impossible. Perception failure. Recalibrating. Yeah, so that's what this thing is. All systems... Clear. Reactor. Online. Whatever you did, we are spaceworthy. Proceed to navigation. You have earned this. Railjack. Online. Let's take her out. Okay, so we're actually going to go over the basics of Railjack stuff, because uh, I am going to include that in the video. I'm just going to take this thing out to free flight. So this is the little, the little terminal I just interacted with is our like star chart for the railjack specifically, which allows you to start missions. You can skip this, but I'm going to let it play. Alright, then we're headed out on a mission. We're just going to talk about all of the, the things that are on the Railjack that you should probably know about, just in general. Because uh, this is just going to be free flight whenever we are loaded in here. This is space. This is the pilot seat. From here, you can get in and fly around. In with your mouse, you know, use the controls, easy stuff. Uh, Q and E are like your, like, you know, big turn left and right. Will like it'll like reset you. Um, 
You can boost around. Well, you'll eventually be able to boost around. There's certain things that are locked behind intrinsics and stuff, and there's, you know, you'll get you'll get some other things you'll see in your intrinsics in a moment. This is how you, this is how you fly around. You can shoot, you can do all the things. You have heat that is building up under there behind me. Um, there's lots of better guns and things to get as well. Big important thing, uh, this seat right here. So this is the artillery seat. So this is meant, this is meant to be done in a group. Uh, from this seat, we have a big cannon. You charge this up and it fires a big a big charge. Uh, this is how you defeat other like railjack-sized ships. Uh, you want to shoot them in their engines that are turned on 99% uh, of the time. That is going to be the big orange glowing spot on the back of an enemy ship. That's where you want to be shooting in order to one-shot them. Uh, other stuff that's important in here, uh, right here, this is exiting the railjack. So this will just take you out into space. So then now, you, then you're then you're out of the railjack. You can go do other objectives this way, and so on and so forth. You can go back in. Uh, then there are two gunner seats. There's this gunner seat that goes up, uh, and then there is this gunner seat that goes down. Uh, so those are the, those are the two gunner seats that you can interact with, one above, one below. So you can have two gunners, and then one pilot, and then one like gunner. Uh, or one like artillery gunner and then in the back here these are our little foundries so if you are out of shots for the artillery cannon you can come back here and you grab this stuff during the missions you build more dome charges that way usually the materials are not a problem if you've been playing at all basically um like playing in the mission that you're in which is what this stuff comes from uh and you can just you know restore energy this way repair the ship get revelite uh, Revelite, also important. If you have a hull breach, you can hold your equipment button and you will have this in your, like, most your open slot that is uh, the furthest or the first available. Uh, and then this, can you just spray this at damage in the ship, which will be clearly marked whenever you equip this thing uh, to repair stuff. And that's just general overview of stuff in the railjack that goes on. That's what this thing is. Uh, it is like a big ship that you would want multiple people for. It is super useful. Uh, we're just going to head back to the dry dock because we can just click this. Slingshot is not a thing that I have even unlocked. Go back to the dry dock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. guys, guys, the slingshot is, is intrinsics. We're not talking about the slingshot. I'm talking about basics. Okay, please, please assume I know what I'm doing. Please. Now that we're back, we can exit the railjack. Exit's over here. So these are our configure railjack areas. This is also the research area. So if you're in a clan that hasn't researched all this stuff, that's one thing. It's uh, you can go through research all, all this, do clan things, yada yada. Um, otherwise, otherwise, these will all be available already for most of you. Uh, and then the only thing that is worth noting in this entire thing is that eventually, I guess, you want to get Tycho Seeker Mark Threes. These are the only notable item in this entire inventory you can grab these as holdovers until you get the real versions of these items uh from the void missions but you can join other players who are already in the void missions to easily get things that are just the infinitely better versions of all of this stuff uh so the only thing in here that will ever matter are the Tycho seeker threes because you can't get these anywhere else this is the best version of this and it's also not super expensive as you can see otherwise configuring the railjack so we've got shields engines plating and reactors if you are a new player the number one piece of advice i have for you is to join other people who are in the void section of railjack and get a tier three plating or the tier three platings i've already done that uh there's multiple different names there's like levon zetki blah 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 uh, there's all these different platings that you can get. Levons are the best one, but all of them are so much better than the one you start with. It does not matter. Just get any of them and build one of them. And then if you want to be done with Railjack at that point for everything else that actually matters to come into the future, you will be done. Like you do not need any better stuff besides plating to really easily skate by on like whatever is going to happen and whatever you're really going to need to do. Um, but it is worthwhile to do the full upgrade 
um, to your Railjack as it is also not very hard. We did like about a half hour to an hour of Railjack. I have the Levon plating. Uh, I have the Zepki reactor, which is also best in slot. The engines, I have Vidar engines. Vidar or Levon engines don't really matter. The engines are the thing that matters least here. Uh, Shield Array, the Zepki I like, but also these don't matter. Uh, and then in terms of guns, there are two guns. You have your primary guns and your secondary guns. And then, of course, these is where the Tycho Seekers go. Um, in terms of primary weapons, so uh, generally speaking, I really like Fotors. Zetki Fotors are the best, especially whenever you have high intrinsics. Um, so this is really good for the front because these weapons can just go through shields. They're really great because of that. As you can see, I have two of these. Feel free to put these on the front and on the sides uh, of your Railjack if you want to. They're going to be fantastic. Uh, technically, for your side guns, you want... Um, Oh no, they come from the corpus. Ooh, chat. Thank you. Uh, you want the talons. You want you want Zetki or Levon talons for your side guns. Um, those are technically the best, but your side guns will usually not come up. And if you slam some Fotors on there, it's going to be like nearly best in slot. It's not going to super matter. If you happen to get talons at some point, you can put them as your side gun. Um, because those are those are good side gunner guns. Uh, in terms of mods, uh, if you are like just starting out. Uh, you're not going to have a whole lot. The main thing is to slap Hyper Strike in here and pop that up. Um, Artillery Cheap Shot, you can see I've already invested in. Uh, you don't need to use this. You can just build more Dome Charges, but the fewer Dome Charges I need to build, the better, so I have this in here already. Uh, Rebel Reducer, if you're going to get damaged a bunch, um, this is good for making it so you use less of that, so you have to restore that less often as well. These are just like kind of efficiency. Uh, and then in terms of the Aura... Uh, there is a defensive aura that increases like your health and your shields and hull and all that business. That's the one that you want. Um, but just if you don't have that one, just slam whatever in here. That aura comes from like Earth, which I just haven't done any of yet. Uh, and then in terms of our battle stuff, uh, Shatter Burst is fantastic. You'll probably get this one because it is common. Uh, Particle Ram is also reasonable, but it's like a really expensive mod to level. Um, Blackout Pulse is the best for this slot. The Shatter Burst is the best for this slot. Uh, this one, you want... Um... God, what are the mil 1 million missiles called? Yeah, Ironclad Matrix is what the aura is called. Seeker Volley, thank you, chat, uh, is the name of the ability that goes here. It just fires 1 million missiles and kills everything in sight. It's really good. Uh, but Void Hole is a reasonable replacement for that. But I wouldn't bother leveling Void Hole all the way uh, if you're going to level it at all. Uh, this slot, this doesn't matter at all. I will say I do usually like to have Form Up and Void Cloak equipped uh, in these slots, but they super don't matter. Nothing in the tactical slots matter at all. They, they, they do not matter. Uh, and then, yeah, you can see, like, full builds of this in other videos and stuff, but, like, in terms of what you're throwing in here, if you have Ironclad Matrix in here, that's going to be great. Hyper Strike plus, you know, just other mods that increase damage, like your crit mods and stuff that you will, you will eventually get for this. It's kind of basic regular knowledge stuff like put damage in put crit chance put crit damage like that kind of thing uh alongside some like you know kind of quality of life stuff because most of your stats really do come from the actual parts that you're putting together uh also notable these things are not hard to build uh i already am most of the way there the only thing i need are isos which uh mostly come from the corpus missions otherwise i have everything and this is uh, I will have much more than everything, actually. Uh, and this is, like, the best hull that you can get. Uh, you can see statistically over here on the right just how much better it is. Um, it is insanely better. So if you get one of the Levon platings and slap it in, uh, and this is not max stats, uh, it is going to be absolutely insane for you. Uh, so would highly suggest, uh, and also just to show, like, this is, like, the suboptimal one or whatever. Um, it's... A little worse than the Levon one, right? Like it has a little more armor. Like the, the balance of health armor, it's the Levon is better, but it's not. This is these are not really so massively different that it matters. Whatever tier three hull you get, just make it happen. Um, it's not going to be a big deal what kind it actually is, because uh, the thing that really matters is just having it be a tier three one. But yeah, that's pretty much what's up with this. And then Zeki reactors are fantastic. So that's also that's also a thing. Because this gives you strength and range, which is those are the numbers that you want. Uh that is just that's just what you want to have happen.
But yeah, that's uh, that's what's up with all of of these then engines and such. And you can, I'll, I'll show this because I will end up building this. Um, this is just like you know you can see the comparison. Like it's faster. Uh, speed doesn't really matter super much. Like it will of course help. Uh, and then shields also these don't really matter either. Um, but yeah, you can see it, it, it's a little better. It charges faster. It, the recharge delay goes down, so on and so forth. They, these have little effects on them as well. Uh, regeneration, yeah, regeneration per second for Tenno on board. It's super minor little buffs and stuff. The big thing is the plating and the reactor, the stuff that's really going to matter. Um, and then, of course, your guns are, of course, going to matter as well. Uh, and if I can make these Zeki Photors, I'm going to be really happy... Also, these will have like a certain amount of heat damage that they'll get. So I'll check what my other one is. You can also just upgrade these pretty easily if you don't get like a high number. It's like the exact same ones. Um, yeah, re regardless, this is just, yeah. Repair this. Do we have everything? We do have everything for this. Yeah, so I'll have this and then I'll have like the best guns for the front of my ship, which will be insanely good. Yeah, so that, those are now building. Those will take two hours or whatnot. Um, and then the other thing that I'm actually going to, like, bother having repaired on here are the ISOs. I'll grab those, um, throw the Levon plating on, and then I'm basically done at that point. But yeah, that's, that's what's up with, like, kind of a basic overview of Railjack stuff. Besides, uh, intrinsics, um, these, uh, you basically, here's the basic gist. The basic gist is in terms of what you want to, like, level first, you want to level things equally for the first two ranks, and then you want to rush rank four tactical uh, so you can warp around the ship and to the ship. Uh, so that's that's what you want here. Uh, and then after that, equally leveling is fine, but you do want to get one of these to seven so that you can start missions in the void. But that's, of course, not immediately uh, a big problem. And you can see that I got almost all of these to five with only about a half hour of playing Railjack actively with a crew. Um, so it's really not a big deal to level these. You can do it quite fast. Without a booster, you can do it insanely fast with a booster, like stupid fast uh, with a booster if you decide to go that way. But you do need to get one of these to seven before you can be the pilot starting missions in the void, which is notable. Yeah, other than that, not a huge amount of stuff to talk about here other than the only rank you don't want is rank 10 uh, of gunnery. This is a downside because it makes your guns overheat faster. If you're on console though, some console players actually do like the uh, snapping that you get with this. So if you're a console player, I would probably tell you to try it as it's not that much of a downgrade anyway um, due to uh, flush heat sinks being rank 9. Uh, it isn't usually going to matter too too much, but it is technically a downside for those of us that just aim regularly uh, and don't need to use like the snapping function that's available there. It's also, if you don't level it to that, you're going to miss out on 1500 Mastery, and whether or not you care about that is your own decision. Uh, but yeah, that's what's up. Uh, you can add crew uh, if you so choose. Uh, this comes from the command intrinsics, and then you can go to Fortuna and see uh, Ticker, uh, and then Ticker will be able to sell you crew members, let you hire crew members, however you, whatever. Uh, you can get your first crew member with rank 1, second crew member with rank 2. Uh, the most important two things to have uh, for crew members, if you are looking for them, I'm not going to go too deep into this, but if you are looking for crew members, you want number one thing. The first thing you should get is an engineer that will automatically or like repair your ship as you're going. That's really helpful. Um, just a high repair stat and a high endurance stat is all you're looking for on them. Uh, and then after that, you just want a gunner, which you just want them to have high gunnery stat. They can hang out in the gunner and shoot guys that's pretty much the whole thing uh if you haven't made sec a secondary weapon for the gunner though they don't super matter uh so you can just you can get away with just slapping two engineers on or whatever you want to do uh and it will not be a big deal uh for all that stuff and then customization of things you can turn down the wear and tear because now our railjack's brand spanking new uh and that is what's up with the railjack that's pretty good over under for basic stuff with the railjack and uh yeah that's that's gonna do it for the recording for the railjack mission hopefully that's all super informative and tells everybody what they need to know plus doing the quest all right best mission if boosting i'm buying one soon uh if you're like if you're going with someone i mean they should know this but it's h2 and r9 cloud those are the two missions that you want to do Railjack is Brozheim's favorite part of the game? No. I do like Railjack, though. It is in a very good position now.
Is that to say all multiverse theory is eternalism, or is it a not all frogs or toads scenario? Not all frogs or toads. So like, hmm. Uh, there, there's add-ons to what's going on in Warframe that are more particular. But stop important ship needs colors. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, we can do that. Rename Railjack Bullfrog. We did it. Hello, hello. We with the green outside, red inside theme. Oh, do we got to Do we, we do we want to do the inside? We could just leave the inside vanilla. We don't have to do it to them. This looks nice. This is the part where we get questionable. The hell does this effect? All right, we'll just leave it how it is. You need a palette that informs intruders they've reached the belly of the frog. <laughs> How long does it take for these to build again? Two hours. I might mess with that later, actually. Uh, and then do 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 do. So I already have some ISOs just to, like from playing normal. Do, does anybody want to run some railjack? I could use some more intrinsics so I can get to MR8 actually. I need to level some stuff up. We would want someone who is like a primary pilot. What's second pilot? But I'm in the middle of an alliance raid. Fair enough. The operator. Anything about orders? <laughs> Dades, do you want a pilot? Okay, I'm down. And then I will grab. Uh, I'm gonna grab shade because I'm just gonna level and get rid of shade. And... The shade can join us for this. Unfortunately. Good enough for me. You know what? Ghost. Why not? One level of ghost. <laughs> Here, Zama, do you want to invite me? Obviously, I can't host for this. Oh, Dades, you didn't know yet. Sorry. Yeah, the alt is critical frog. Cetus, do not drink the kabuchi. You are incapable of producing the hydraulic effort required to unstick your tongue from the roof of your mouth the following morning. Also, weapons-wise, I should probably... 
do some stuff. Let me grab the Mark I Strun. Like, this doesn't actually matter if I do this, but like, you know, whatever. Also do the Mark I Kunai. Obviously I'll keep the, the Azathane around so I have something that kills guys, but. As ready as you will ever be. Aids, are you Eldas in game? Is that right? My brain doesn't read that as wrong, so I gotta make sure. Yeah, okay. You know, shoot me an invite. And then if you're if you're on public, people can just do slash join on you. And that'll that'll do it. You know what's a good question? It's ready for are we getting more focus points now anytime soon? I've okay, got 99k. Super close. Almost have enough for next level of uh, Void Siphon, which is a pretty big upgrade. Also, I'm also ranked 2 on Wellspring, which I think is pretty good. I'd rather spend the 400k on, like, multiple levels of Siphon and Flood, of course. Uh, I thought I already unlocked Temporal Drag. Eh, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I will have to grab this at some point, but, you know, we're going to get so much focus, it's not going to matter at all. Did you get the Railjack? Just now, moments ago. I'm an introvert slash what? Who am I inviting? Chat, if you want to join, do slash join space E-L-D-E-Z. It will put you in this party. As long as Eldez has switched it to public, which I think he has. He's an invite only. Swap it, swap it to friends only. That allows people to do the slash join thing. Unless they change that. All right, it's been changed. Are right, you guys jump in? I'm gonna grab water real quick. You have new quests in your codex. There we go. Got more water and a little protein bar. Oh yeah, well, you can also just PM, Des. Are for being antisocial, it's about to come up. No, you're totally fine. You're not being antisocial.
Yeah, wh whisper L does if you want to. You want to get in. Because obviously I'm not host in this case. This one looks good. We're gonna do some railjack. After that, we're probably gonna do some uh, vaults. How much? How many? Forty-seven void traces. That's pretty good. I think I have one of each key already built. What node? Um, one second. Uh, R nine or H two cloud, whichever one doesn't have the um the sentient pulse on it. Join warp worked outside railjack. Hell yeah, dude. How dare you infect? I one of you is fucking. One of you's infected. I hope you know that. All right. Uh, somebody grabbed this, so I'm just gonna go do objectives. Cannot be allowed to stand. Marking objectives. Arcwing slingshot loaded. Ten out of the barrel. Interesting. Bring your hangar here for a reason. Find out that reason and steal it. The last time I did this, I was mag. Now I'm just god. To walk in here and not even care. Scratch one cruise ship. Enemy pilots are panicking. Keep it up. Bingo. Crew, trash that radiator. Ackerman. Blew that shit up. On to the next. Point me at the next objective. Just for a quick second. Just one second to the next objective. We have one less crew ship to be concerned with. Direct attention to remaining targets. Infect other people regardless of if you removed it or not. If you removed it, you're chill. Did I miss the Sevagoth drop? Now that's tomorrow. Um, well, you're free to play account and get a Smita. No, there's really no reason to. Getting a Smita is a pain, and it's only really useful if you're gonna do like an insanely huge farm. Which, like, 
there's not really a reason to. Hacker man. Hit them with all we have got. All right, door's not open because of objective. Oh, it's, it's, is it this way? Is it this way? I'm, is my memory bad? Is it this way to the next thing? Oh, it is this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm at the next objective. These guys will never know. You know, a shade actually kind of coming in handy for this. Weirdly. Wow, shade serving his purpose? Question mark? Radiator exposed. Open fire. Opportunity. Core is exposed. Key components marked. Destroy them. Ah, shit. Can I use the Azathane for this? I can. Okay, good. We're good. We can heavy slam. I was like, oh no. Missile battery. Internals. Slam. Everything was about to not be Dijobu. <laughs> Secured. Closing dossier. for Railjack? Fine. I mean, energy-wise, he's nothing to write home about. In terms of doing other objectives, he's amazing. Right now. The grenier placement of a pulse turbine is a display of power intended to intimidate. We do not do intimidated. Operational objectives updated. Multiple bogies. Man the guns. Alert. Enemy cruise ship has translated into the sector. Target. Missile battery. Orders infiltrate. Objective. Expose radiators. Destroy core. Do -do. I mean, I'm Kalerbo. What are they going to do? Stop me? No. There it is. Blast that Open the door. Expose the oh, it's this way. Radiator. The road to good intentions be paid with hell. When the network is not responding, it makes me a little concerned. I believe in the heart of the cards and that you guys can repair this while I go to this other vehicle. Derelict boarded. Close enough. Not to nag, but in short order, everything that is inside this ship will be outside this ship. Breach sealed. Railjack integrity restored. <clears throat> Decrypting. Any have a tech weapon that forces slash proxy is fine. Yeah. You might find yeah, if you, if you decide to go with like one of like the sides or whatever, those are gonna be fine. Going with a Nakana is totally friends. fine. Enemy cruise ship has punched in. Reinforcing enemy fighters. I need an away crew on the inside. Cruise ship reactor has detonated. Pretty. Bingo. 
crew trash that radiator. The blue ship reactor has detonated. Pretty. Right, rail jet crew time. Okay. Funny how remote repair became a pointless upgrade. Yeah. Well, because it just costs so much more. God, railjack enemies are so, like, obscenely numbers for no reason. Not if I hit them with the ads pain, of course, but, like, most normal star chart enemies die when I press 2. Back of the ship in case you guys need more stuff. Oh, we're all good. Cruise ship has gone bye bye. Mm -hmm. Sign, so what the fuck was the Steinax pilot build? I have a YouTube video on it, but it's it's nourish plus his three plus hilarious amounts of strength is the answer. Maintain anti fighter cover. They are about to break. Steel Path Empyrean when? No, they shouldn't do that. <clears throat> it's just fine as it is. Hey, more Zetki Photors. Nice. Through ship down. That clears up some space. This is the most recent vid. It's a separate, really tiny video. Fighter launch detected. Ogies closing in. We have one less crew ship to be concerned with. Direct attention to remaining targets. Yeah, steel, yeah, like, Railjack enemies with Steel Pathified HP would be, like, so tough. Like, I, I would wager most players would just start to opt to not even bother killing them. What am I doing on the material I actually needed, anyway? I've got any ISOs yet? No. Sagness. It's not that ISOs only drop in Corpus missions, is it? Because I, I have like 40 some of them. Rose Flame, thank you for the sub, much appreciate it. Question: When is the stream that you have about? That's tomorrow, and that will be here. Zeal to red crits. I see. Uh, I still see red at 60k and yellow at 120k. Is it literally just the color, or what am I missing? Well, sometimes it'll depend on where you hit an enemy and which type of enemy you hit will change the actual final number, also, which is important. Uh, the tiers of crits are no crit, normal white numbers. Uh, yellows are single crit. Oranges are double crit. Reds um, are triple crit, three crit. Uh, and then red with an exclamation point up to three times are the next three levels of crit beyond that. So we can see we the ones that we can see are um, not crits, crits, orange crits, red crits. And then the, the three red crits with exclamation points. So we can see six levels of crit. 
Boogie says that ISOs are Corpus missions only. I wonder where I got mine. Oh, there, there have been more crits for years. You just haven't been able to see them the whole time. I literally farm ISOs from the first Grenier Earth mission. They are not Corpus only. All right, fair enough. There we go. Oh, are we getting the, like, a not enough fighters happen thing? Did you not fly close enough to one of the objectives? Sometimes that's it. Typical railjack. This actually really rarely happens now. Usually it's because you didn't fly through a certain part of the map and all, like, the fighters that normally spawn there just never spawn because of that. That's usually how it happens. Sometimes it's, the, sometimes it's at the beginning of the map, too. Yeah, it does suck that it happens at all. R realistically, the thing it should be that should be the case is that fighters never stop spawning. They drop from boxes, I believe. I used Shatter Shield to break a ton of them. Oh, okay. I need to clear out some stragglers in the objectives. I could believe that. Red Drone said you're on invite only. We're full. head inside the uh probably the first objective i did is the one causing an issue probably the derelict that spawns a lot of enemies okay does someone else want to head inside the derelict then i'll head in here and kill anyone that's there if anyone Hello, deployed. in here. Unfortunate that this doesn't work. There's a mission where this does work. Oh yeah, I should have just gone up this to get up here. Skies are clear there we go. Turbine off -log. I will spread the word that this sector has reopened. Solid work. We fixed it. A little bit of weirdness, but we're good. I hate that you shut off your main account's order because I'm now hunting Curia and Corpus tablets and it takes quite some time. Oh, yeah. But those are not short grinds, but... The cosmetics.
bunch of comms and stuff. I mean, worst case scenario, I'm getting a bunch of intrinsics and stuff from this. Okay, I'm gonna go aim my face at one of these objectives. Well, the Corpus Tablet's only 70% of the Korea. Can't be fucked through the rest. Fair. Eyes on ship killer platform. <clears throat> Clearing the sector will be difficult while it is operational. Take it out of commission. Scratch one crew ship. <clears throat> Enemy fighter cover halved. <clears throat> we have company. Bring your crew ship on scope. Where does Seeker Volley drop from again? Seeker Volley is like an Earth drop, right? Or is it one of the ones that's from like the semi uncommon enemies? And that's why I don't have it. Any any level of Outrider? Okay, yeah, that's the reason. Uh, one of my coworkers had to copy use his account for a bug. Had their skybox decorated, and he was like, "Huh?" And I was like, "You didn't see anything. That isn't a bug." Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. There it is. Blast that radiator. It isn't a bug. It's not causing any problems. And then if it does start causing problems, then fucking carry on my wayward son. Goodbye, I guess. Uh. Which would be big sadge for everyone involved. Ship killer platform neutralized. A grateful sector thanks you. Boom. Crew ship eliminated. Focus on remaining targets. But who's in the slingshot? Optimists inbound. Fucking knock 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 occupied. Oh. No. No, no. Okay. Nearby. Enemy fighters are routing. Hello, on board derelict. <clears throat> Decrypting archives. Crew, you might find this interesting. 30 endo in that crate. Radiator exposed. Open fire. Radiator not exposed. Cruise ship reactor has detonated. Pretty. Drop that shit. Just for no reason. Cruise ship down. That clears up to space. Railjack crew, please destroy the first radiator. The cruise ship's in here. Scratch one cruise ship. Okay, well, never mind. I still have to do this, though. Actually, one of the best things about the asteroid hangar is that you get a free cruise ship out of it. Enemy in retreat. Surviving Vernier will spend the war. 
Aha. Can't stop me from blowing up an extra one. <laughs> Alert. Fires. Alert. I'm not allowed to click it. Somebody else has to. <laughs> Is it worth it or there's other, other Warframes that can do her job better? There are definitely other Warframes that can do her job better, but Avara is a very, very good, well-rounded Warframe. It's also not usually so much that other Warframes can do her job better as much as they can do it faster. Another job well executed. The quality is about the same, it's the speed that changes. <clears throat> Targets on the board. Good hunting. Fighters upon attack vector. Gunners, fire at will. <laughs> Missile battery. It has to go. Standard off. Wrong way. I guessed I was wrong. Space battles for invasions. That'd probably be pretty cool. Enemy fighter support has been halved. Grenier dry dock. They are working on there. That tunnel was there. Fair. I want to know what infiltrate. The enemy have called in a crew ship. Situation evolving. Remaining fighters are being called off. Excellent. Ships are already down, so open. We do not know what is on that thing. Bingo. Crew trash that radiator. Dropping this ship totally as a laugh. Decrypting so goofy. Archives. Crew, you might find this interesting. Prototype craft. One of a kind. It would be terrible if someone stole it. R&D acquired. We know people who can make good use of this. Crew ship down. That clears up some space. We have captured the enemy crew ship. I'm the captain now. Has gone bye bye. Ship on scope. 
we go. <laughs> Oh, any, anyway. We have one less cruise ship to be concerned with. Direct attention to remaining targets. Just want a little more reason to go to Railjack? I mean, what more reason could they possibly give? A TGAs are tomorrow, which I will be streaming them. That will be happening. I will also have the drop. The drop will be available here. My bad. Yeah, tomorrow at seven thirty EST. We will we will be starting before then. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. <clears throat> so we can get Sevagoth watching your stream. Yes. Yeah, there were signups for that, and I did that. So it will be available here. We are on their boards. Look alive. I'm just going to stay in here for the initial blowing up all the ships just to grab all that sweet, sweet experience. <clears throat> I'm trying to get these Mark 1s leveled real quick. Good ISOs from these missions. You need to either be killing the Railjack turret enemies uh, or destroying space resource items. Oh, that's why I have such a small amount of ISOs on these missions. Okay. Makes sense. It's not a big deal. I'll just throw, like, a couple levels into Particle Ram and then zoom around like the first fucking Earth mission and it'll be no big deal. You want on Big Gun? Oh, no, no, I'm chill. I just wanted to grab like a first little chunk of it just to make sure my Mark 1s get leveled. They're going to be just fine. Dev stream start? There's not gonna be one. one the, radiator down. Make it two. the last dev stream already happened for the year. Radiator exposed. Open fire. Destroy the core now. OA crew, wrecking time. Destroy marked components. I mean, when they give away Sevagoth the surprise, that's tomorrow, and you can get that at this stream. That'll be th this stream tomorrow. You'll get the Sevagoth. Yeah, there is a prime time that will be earlier in the day tomorrow. Infiltrate. 
How can I get the Sephiroth? I just told you. Type. Oh yeah, it's gonna be big whisper type. What? Crap, that could even drop. New whisper sees from Rev's Twitter just now, Zyme. There's a giant fish. What? Hold on, what? Let me see this. Is that a goddamn Norg that's a person? That's a Norg. That's not just any fucking fish. One second. I'm pulling this up on the main monitor. Look at this shit. Very busy behind the scenes for Warframe. More news tomorrow at the Game Awards, obviously. Uh, uh, the incredible Neil Newbin and Ben Starr have joined the cast for this update. I don't know who these two are. Resident Evil Village. But what character? I don't know. I'm so bad with actor names. Oh, Ben Star is Clive? No. That, this is a Starian's voice actor? Yo, that's crazy. Warframe said, quick, get his ass. <laughs> get that man. Also, yeah, look at this. This is a Norg with this, like, fucking fancy head. This is a talking Norg calling the shot. Oh, yeah, Fibonacci and Arthur. It's for sure a talking Norg. Fish people. What game do you think is going to get Game of the Year tomorrow night? It's going to be Baldur's Gate. Are you kidding me? That's going to be a talking fish right there. That's going to be hilarious, probably. Fire crew, stand down. Time to learn fishman karate. <clears throat> Kills with the helicore count to get enemies in the simulacrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get your scans Another that way. Job well executed. Oh, we got 14 ISOs. Thank you. I, I saw whoever is driving uh, using the particle ram. I appreciate you. A nearby post ben Star is the voice of Arthur in 1999. That's actually super sick. Strategically for us. I, I, he, having heard not that much of him doing Clive, he is a good VA. But I've not heard anyone complain about him as the VA of Clive, and he's the main fucking character, so he must be pretty good. 
Heisenberg, the character that Neil Newborn voiced in Ari Village. Wait a minute, Neil, he's voiced Heisenberg? Dude, he does a good fucking job, Jesus. Heisenberg's like the most memorable, like one of the characters in there besides Lady D, and Lady D's memorable for other reasons. Because of her impeccable posture, of course. Yes, naturally, naturally. This is me not paying attention to reading chat. We're somehow upping our sound and VA quality more, even getting our first license song. It's been an update, that's for sure. Yeah, no, for real. I mean, hey, the sound team continues to go hard. So, I mean, like, at some points, there's only certain places you can go with upgrading sound. Like, there, there's a certain level where it's like, okay... All of the way, like, walking around and hitting things sounds is pretty much as good as it's going to get. And, like, the new enemy sounds really unique and so on and so forth. What can we do now? It's like, well, we could hire, like, more slash better voice actors. It's like, yeah, I guess that is better. That's pretty much the only avenue we have left, right? Man, that's pretty crazy. Cause like Neil is almost certainly about to win best for best performance, which like is all like obviously all credit of course goes to him for that. Um, but it's gonna really positively affect like people who are suddenly interested in Warframe. I think. was good enough if I didn't play Warframe hearing he was in Warframe would have made me try it flat out yeah like there, there's definitely a lot of people that like went into Baldur's Gate and like feel that way about Astarian for sure what's up it <laughs> Sarah says now she has to go to Tenogon that's valid Wait, is it really? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh yeah, that, there's, there's probably a pretty reasonable chance that he would at least be on a panel at Tenocon. Yeah, I mean, if, yeah, if he likes going to events, there's no reason not to. That just, that, that just cracks at that point. I mean, as you would. I mean, hey, for longer than six months, that game took a long fucking time to voice. Oh, following. Yeah. Do you want to jump in chat? Do you want to jump in chat? You can. Okay. Pulse turbine Why do you think an invitation to get into chat? Yes. Don't touch that. An invitation to jump into chat with me is an invitation to talk with me more, not to go away. Don't touch that. Please, please don't. It falls and it breaks everything, including my new thousand dollar laptop. It will, it will let you lift it off. It don't, please don't move it. You, you literally have already touched it. 
You have already touched it. It, it is a release to let you lift. Yes, it would be a problem. Please, please do not touch it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It would not be an immediate problem unless you installed it upside down. There's no need. Goodbye. Love you, babe. Time is canonically Sarah's biggest hater, of course. Naturally. <clears throat> also, apparently... Okay, so this is a thing that I, I, I saw this, and I don't know if it's a mod or an AI voice thing, or if it's real. Apparently, they made Shadowheart say the thing. Another job well executed. Like, actually in-game. Like, that meme is canonical now, apparently. What's the thing? It's the fucking, uh, her VA going, I'm also God's favorite princess and the most interesting girl in the world. <laughs> you know, that the actual VA has said that, but apparently that's in-game now. <laughs> Which is like, to be fair, pretty fucking in character for Shadow Art. <laughs> but Jesus Christ! Pulse turbine, reinforcing enemy units. Going in. Gate crasher, Rainier crew ship. Crew ship. Down. That up some Good to be them. Glad they had a good time. Enemy I hope they come again for sure. Wait, who now? I missed part of this conversation when we were talking to Sarah. The Shadow God's literal favorite heart. That's correct. <laughs> Oh, the VAs who came. We were talking about hoping for new VAs to come by at Tenocon. Hell yeah. Destroy core. <clears throat> Crew ship reactor has detonated. Pretty. Don't tell me you're a cleric without saying you're a cleric. Brother, I am the cleric. We, we let Shadowheart leave the party in our playthrough. <laughs> Dude, I'm the cleric. Also, okay, to talk about Baldur's Gate a little bit here. Man, it is outrageous. They, they released the stats again, and the stats remain the same in terms of most popular and least popular class, with Paladin being the most popular and Cleric being the least popular. As someone who started out as a Paladin and then went, this sucks, and switched to a Cleric, and Clerics are just fucking Beast Lord gods, I don't get it. Clerics are, clerics are just Paladins, but better in every conceivable way. What game are we talking about? Baldur's Gate 3. Welcome to D&D. &D. That's been the case forever. Okay. Players require a lot of casting and knowing your spells. Not really. Not in, not in Baldur's Gate 3, at least. In Baldur's Gate 3, not really, dude. I cast the spell that says kill everyone in a 30 meter radius. It's pretty good. Also, like, paladins are like, I could break my oath if I do that. Okay. Clerics are like, uh, and? Three 
Yeah, my god was Bahamut and he was Bing chilling. Radiators destroyed. Only crew, go for the core. Components marked. Destroy them. Fucking Tempest Cleric of Bahamut, my beloved. That is the problem with missile batteries. They are packed with explosives. Cook off gutted the place. Moving on. We have one less crow ship to be concerned with. Direct attention to remain. 8 D6 targets. fire damage at a 20 foot radius for the win. Yeah. Or just call lightning, which in Baldur's Gate 3 says, yeah, deal uh 8 D8 or 8 D10 lightning damage to that direction every turn. What do you mean by this? Why is that an ability I get? Why can I do it five times per long rest? Why does it last ten term ten turns? <laughs> the call lightning is crazy. For a full minute, become fucking Zeus, idiot. Yeah not, that, yeah, not to mention Tempest Clerics get the one thing they don't need, which is the ability to use their special little charges to be like, oh, am I going to not hit for max damage? Hit for max damage instead. Huh? To everyone? Yes, to everyone. How many turns in a row can you do that for? Like six, bro. How many times per long rest? You can do it. So whenever you're max level in Baldur's Gate, you can do it like six times per long rest at varying levels of strong. Large translation signature. And, I, and by that, I mean call lightning. With your, with your short rests, which restore your little lightning charges, you get to do it so much. So, so much. It's like 12 times. Mods maxes damage. That's correct. Heads up, Radier crow ship. Enemy fighters down fifty percent. Which is max damage, all of it. Yeah, no. Well, the the thing about the Tempest cleric is the moment you get like not even not even your spell slot five because you'll use that. You get your 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 spell slot fours, and max damage is like sixty damage. And, like, most of the enemies on, like, the regular mode in Baldur's Gate 3, that just kills them. They just die when you do that to them. And you get to do that for ten turns in a row. We broke them. Skies are clear of fighter cover. It's, uh, that's also with no synergies. That's like from nothing, I'm going to hit you for 60 lightning damage. If you're in an area with puddles, God save these morons. Are you standing in a puddle? That's going to be 150 damage, moron. Boom. Crew ship eliminated. Focus on remaining targets. Alert. Enemy cruise ship has translated into the sector. Ship killer platform sighted. Priority. So I'm going to be a Tempest Clerk again when he re replays Baldur's Gate 3. No, I'm going to play the only thing that I think is more powerful than a cleric. A druid. Open fire. 
Because <clears throat> druids just get to be multiple classes. They get to randomly summon like a full other complete class. Be like, oh yeah, what do I need for this encounter? Oh, I need like, I need like an elemental mage sorcerer or whatever. Yeah, cool. Uh, I summon one. Neat. Anyway, moving on. Now I'm also going to transform into an owlbear, which is like the equivalent of like a fully leveled berserker. Um, and then I'm going to do that. I'm just going to be multiple characters. The action economy is my bitch. <laughs> yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 Druids get to summon just a whole other party. Yeah. You advise new players to do Railjack solo or publicly? Public, for sure. You want to you wanna join in on people um, that are in the veil so that you can get some tier 3 parts? You want to grab like a tier 3 gun that you can build really easily and then like any tier 3 hull and then that makes your life super easy for anything else you want to do. Continues. It's gonna go too far, isn't it? Yep. the best plating in the game again. And now all your stuff is maxed. Yep, that's correct. How many how many ISOs did I have I managed to get out of this? Oh 45, I have enough. Sick. Or I'll send us back to the dry dock. What would be a new Prime mod you would want to add? Uh, I can tell you in a second because I'm about to look at what the mod's called. <clears throat> Shades max, all this, some levels in my Arcwing stuff. Another job well executed. 30k Xenric, which is not bad. It's difficult to understand the universe if you only study one planet. Yeah, artillery cheap shot. Yeah. Primed artillery cheap shot is what I want. I would legitimately go in the game and people would be like, why do you want this? I'm so confused. Like, why would anyone pick this? And then people who play Railjack would be like, yes, 40k endo, take it from me. And ironically, it's like the most like stupid thing that would be big pog.
Ready for action. Okay, thank you, Dates. Uh, let's go ahead. <clears throat> okay, intrinsics. I really care about the the competency point is actually not bad. Where are my next ranks on this? Oh yeah, battle mod energy consumption is a good one. Cooldown doesn't really matter. Yeah, probably just gonna jump this up to seven. There you go. Now I can just go to the veil if I want to go to the veil, which is the important thing here. I have enough for. Yeah, what was my next gunnery? Does one matter? The optimized forge and whatever. Oh, necromec gun damage. Uh, that actually does matter. Weirdly, that one does matter. Uh, it's also like more efficient just to grab both of these levels, and it's way more mastery. So I'll just do that. Yeah, that affects the Arc of X. So that actually, that's going to come up. That will come up. <laughs> Alright, let's do our MR8 test, because I might as well. I don't need to, but I might as well. Gives me access to the helmet. What's this now one? We will test your agility. Oh, yeah. Shoot the targets to create your path. Should have brought, like, anything else besides the Atomos to this. But I will end up switching my weapon here. <clears throat> I don't think the Atomos is bad for this, though. This test is now complete. Another job well executed. I was for a year. I just want to ask, what are the new, what's new for this game? A bunch of stuff is the answer. Oh, Hell Knight. Thank you for the reset. Much appreciate it. Uh, did you get the Americ ones for the MR Potter? Yeah, that's what I was grabbing those for. Okay, cool. Let's just rank up. I'm not even going to bother switching off the Atomos. inbox, operator. Is a certain MR still required for auto install on sculptures? Yep, MR ten. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Hello. Auto installs MR locked? Yep. And you will. And you will. Do you have an MR goal for this account? Not really. I'm already past what's needed. Eight is like the sub goal because Helmuth is in there, but like, hey. I don't know what's going on currently. Okay. Where are we going? I don't know that I'm going to the test. Apparently I am. Sure. Test your agility. Shoot the targets to create your path. Any tips for the MR6 test? test uh, what was the MR6 test again? I know I recently did it, but a lot of these early ranks are very easy. I know that's right after the hacking one. No, MR5 is the hacking one. Someone is attempting to contact the. No, the stealth kill one's nine. Check your inbox. Shoot the ball. Oh. Um, um, oh god, what is advice that doesn't sound like pedantic? Um, the Vectus is good for that test because it'll reload before you need to shoot each thing. So if you haven't built the Vectus, the Vectus is nice for that.
of the urge to say get good rising. Yeah, it's not it's not like <clears throat> My rank up. Ah, uh, this is so not worth it. I really wish this wasn't a requirement for the syndicates, because, like, man, they have nothing that makes this worth it. Really. How did I get... Oh, right, I did Railjack. I have another million credits now. Shit. I was like, how... <laughs> I was like, I'm low on credits. No, I'm not. I did Railjack. <laughs> I literally looked at my credits... And my, my, my brain read it like this, as if my mouse was here. So I was like, yeah, I have like about 400,000 credits, which is way too many. I was like, wait, I did Railjack. Never mind. <laughs> but the Catalyst, man, it's so brutal. The Catalysts are so brutal for this. Three Catalysts? Yeah, I have three kicking around. <clears throat> Lay them low and burn and I, I haven't turned these in yet, so I could grab two more. You know Probably pretty good on Endo too. Oh yeah, no, we're we're pretty solid on Endo. Oh my God, Jesus! Knock knock. Now, yeah, knock knock is right, Jesus. The way out here, operator. I don't think you should answer that. How much is one rank in this? Boop. probably actually worth it one rank in all of these yeah i'm gonna do it not in umbral fiber in vitality though i don't need any more armor yeah so now this is better than regular vitality maxed And this is 50% ability strength. Like, I mean, yeah, it's pretty insane that this thing only needs to be at rank 6 to be like, it's a lot of ability strength. Holy balls, loads into Railjack mission, that's Excellent correct. Have you melted down your Please spare parts? Oh me. no, I haven't done that. Safe and sound. Ooh. Hmm. I did a little forgetty. I have not melted down my spare parts. That's just the raw rewards. How'd I do this? I don't know why I'm here. Clear of all times of credit offering this week, just saying. No, that's not a that's not an efficient use. You can do that. That is not an efficient use of the stuff. I got you baited. Okay. Okay, this is the one I have that's the better one, so we'll do this one. Boop, boop, boop. Well, now. Alright, now I'm building the best hull, and I'm already building the best primaries, so... I mean, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Are these done yet? I have a half hour to go. Um, do I have enough extra for the reactor? No, I need three Awcrux. These are from destroying the Corpus ships, right? Usually, I think that's right. Can I can I get a perfect one? Holy shit. <laughs> Just 
Just get it, idiots. Just be better. <laughs> Simply, just be better. <laughs> That's super funny. Yeah, man, this account does get what... I, this account gets anything it wants, unless it's Wise Razor. I had to farm Wise Razor for two hours. But this one just is like, here you go. Sure. Why not? What could go wrong? <laughs> oh, man. That's really funny. That's really funny. Holy shit. Operator, messages have arrived in your inbox. Okay, what's like a cheap amount to put into this that's still worth it? Yeah, I can really I can put this to half ranks. So that's probably enough for Earth. Endo. Well, I'm, I'm going to wait for all my stuff to be done building, then I'll break everything else down. Not, it's not a big deal. I don't need any more endo, clearly. Um. Okay. Here's what I want to do. Um. Here, I'm going to close all these. PM me if you want to do corrupted mod farming. If you don't want to do corrupted mod farming, I do have something else to farm. That might take a really long time because it's super common. Oh, sorry. I just will play with the volume off. <clears throat> What's the long farm? Shattering impact? It's a common from Drakar Butchers. So, if it's anything like Wise Razor, that's going to take a few hours. <laughs> Things that take a long time to farm, usually. Here you go. Common mods. Oh, you can go straight to hell, but. I'm going to be getting like, I'm going to have like three condition overloads before I get Shattering Impact. Which is the other mod they drop, by the way. What's your list of corrupted mods you're looking for? Um, really the only one I care about getting is Overextended. Uh, homie, I can't do the steel path. Yeah, because, like, I have a blind rage, I have fleeting expertise, and I have corrupt charge. So, it's pretty much overextended is what I need. Narrow-minded and other stuff like that is all cool. No, no, I can't do the steel path on a technicality. Obviously, I could join into the steel path and just do it. I'm Calervo. Transient to offset overextended? Sure. I guess. I mean, I'm not going to, like, the, here's the, the real shit is that, like, maxing transient fortitude, that shit ain't going to happen. I 
I have all four Zyme and I'm Titania. What? I can find the vault. I can teleport. I know you're faster than me, but come on. It's possible. If I find it, I want to open it. I know I have limited traces, but you know. You are here. Find our target and bring them to the extraction point. Happy hunting. Be on guard for the ancients. You've unlocked an Arokan vault. It's clean. Vault artifact acquired. You'll need to extract before we can verify its function. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. Something's wrong. Mission complete. The captain has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. Come on. Get overextended first try. I don't even know what to say. <clears throat> What's the worst mission and why is it Lua? It's not. Lua rules. It's the best spy mission. Are you kidding me? It's the most interesting spy mission in the game. <clears throat> Zyme, should I tally? Drops for Shattering Impact with Excel. That would be really hard. You'd have to know how many Drakar Butchers I've killed, which is going to be, like, super difficult to determine. Operator, communications await your attention. Please check your inbox at your earliest... The problem is that interesting takes a long time. I just want Spy to be over ASAP. Then watch my guide video on it. Those vaults aren't actually very long, if you know what you're doing. How many Corrupted mods are there in total? 27? That feels like the right number. I don't know that it is, though. I think that's right. Operator, Ordis wonders, what are you? Twenty-seven with catalyzing shields. Yeah, because I think it was twenty-six before. Received intel. Somebody vital to enemy operations is here. Find them and capture them. Target located. Bring them in. Mission. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. No oh, hey. Oh, Cooper Rescue. I, I'm not much for Cooper Rescue. <clears throat> What's the best Railjack shield? I like the Zetki one the best. Some of the other effects are pretty compelling, though. Curious. You have the vault artifact. Let's go. The corrupted will stop at nothing to prevent that artifact. These challenge rooms carry anything good? Not in the infested version of the ship. In the non-infested void, it's really good. Oh, there's transient fortitude. I don't super need that, but it's extremely good, so I'll take it. Oh, very nice, Rochelle.
10 plat acquired. Is transient only 10? Transient usually was running at least 15, if not 20, depending. Transient Fortitude's gotten less popular, though, because of Molt Augmented. Ancients are the most powerful. Agent feeding has made them strong. You <laughs> Capture them quickly before they escape. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. Your is done here, Tenno. Out there. Oh, fucking. <laughs> well, there you go. A pristine Arokan vault. Curious. A vault artifact. Oh, it's like right at the end. Jeez. You'll need to extract before we can verify its function. <clears throat> Looks like some corrupt. Uh, your critical frog playthrough finally got me to get my necromech. Thank you for the content, guy. And it's not a problem. Happy to help. There's another copy of Blind Rage. Blind Rage is still quite popular. That one probably trades like one for one with overextended, worst case scenario. Will the corrupted farm be part of the video? I already have a, a video. Of, I mean, like, it'll be in the archive on YouTube. I'm streaming to YouTube right now. Um, the inbox has messages for the operator. But I, I, already, I already have a video for the Corrupted Mods. And, like, that video is as a worse Warframe, so. What's the Sindana that's Oops All Knives? That's Dragon. Then do a new playthrough without the streamer luck. Mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction. Well done. Opened an vault. Oh, well it done. Somebody found it. Unaffected by the infestation. The vault artifact. Let's go. It appears that you've triggered security. The corrupted artifact. Blind Rage is 15, Overextended is 20. Overextended is 20? Damn. Maybe Creeping Bullseye, that's a good one. That's a really good one. I actually needed that. It doesn't say it's new, but I don't think we got it before. I'm sure that's new. Yeah, we definitely take Creeping Bullseyes. That's great. messages in your inbox operator uh they are not as encrypted as they should be that on spore laser if you decide to farm one for this account yeah uh wasn't sorting by unit price lamau it's 15 plat and 10 plat for overextended okay that sounds more usual You 
are here on a capture mission. You must find, capture, and extract our target. People love blind rage. We need to purge this place, as we did in the old days. Target located. Bring them in. Work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. Your part is done here, Tenno. A pristine Oroken vault. Curious. Oh, somebody found it. Vault artifact acquired. You'll need to extract it can verify its function. Something's wrong. Blinders is great because there are so many ways to get and maintain your energy economy now. Yeah. There's another fleeting. Can't argue with that. Look at a micro your account from Switch when cross save happens. There's some funky rules for the platinum on Switch you might want to read up on. That's true. That is gonna be the case. Also, I'm not really gonna I'm not gonna get combine anything. I don't have any incentive to do so. My account has everything. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. Are we farming mods again? Upgrades for Kool-Aid Man. Yeah, getting overextended would be situationally really good for farms, like the one I want to do right after this. Unaffected by the infestation. Mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. Vault artifact acquired. You'll need to extract before we can verify its function. Something's wrong. Okay, vicious spread, sure. I think full cross save functionality will be implemented by the end of the year. Um, maybe, probably. I believe I have an extra overextended if you want it. No, no, we got a farm. We got a farm. We'll at least spend a while on this, and then like if I don't get it, I'll trade one of my extras. I'll, pro I'll probably like trade somebody two of my extras. Like I have an extra fleeting and an extra blind rage, and like no one's dumb enough not to trade those two for an overextended if I have to. You know what I mean? Yeah, when, whenever I do trades on free-to-play through accounts, it's always like horrifically not in my favor. Is there an easy way to farm the G3? No. You are here to find our target and bring them to the extraction point. Happy hunting. Be on guard for the ancients. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. Oops. You're not dead. There you go. You've unlocked an Arachnid Vault. It's clean. You have the vault artifact. Let's go. Mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. Something's wrong. Wow. Vision. Brackets, the last weapon I need. Yeah, no. Um, okay, someone let me know if, 
it drops because I don't know. Apparently, on the weekly Clem mission, sometimes one of the G3 will show up. I don't know if that G3 member can drop a piece of the brack. It doesn't. Okay, box. that doesn't work. It used to, it doesn't anymore. That sucks. Yeah, Barrow sells G3 beacons, but that, yeah, I mean, yeah, you could do that. That's probably your exact way. You are here on a capture mission. You must find, capture, and extract our target. Disgusting monstrosities. I think they absorb their victims. You've opened an aerobic vault. It appears unaffected by the infestation. You've got it. Something is different about this artifact. Keep moving. None of the scanners have detected you. Target. I know somebody located. did find the vault. Bring them in. Something's wrong. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the cat vault back at base. Your part is done here, Tenno. There's heavy cow. What's a G3? The Grustrag 3. They're the uh the Grenier assassin enemy. Oh, was it right in the first room? I've just been going for the target and then I'll look for it if it isn't found yet. Which seems like a good plan. I know you guys are titanious. So there's no way I can, like, full search each room. Like, the most common way I'm going to find it instead of you guys is going to be if I'm headed forward and you guys are still searching the tiles. When's update coming out? We won't know until tomorrow. And we know it's not tomorrow. You are here on a capture mission. You must find, capture, and extract our target. Target located. Bring them in. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. Your part is done, Tenno. No oh, hey. Must be really hidden. You've unlocked an Arokan vault. Oops, somebody found it. It's clean. You have the vault artifact. Let's go. Something's wrong. I still have shade equipped. I should unequip shade. I was right at the end. Well, naturally. <clears throat> you sure the rewards if someone else finds the mod? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, an extra corrupt charge. That's that's very tradable. Very tradable. with the 13th for launch. I think the 13th is a reasonable guess. I'm really hoping the 8th, but... The inbox has messages for the operator. Anything about orders in there?
But we won't do Friday. Don't think they want to drop right before a weekend again. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. <clears throat> we received intel that but I do think it would be super sick. Disgusting monstrosities. I think they absorbed their victims. Target located. Bring them in. You've unlocked an Aroken vault. All right. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. That part is done here, Tenno. The additional 5,000 focus every time I do this is also really nice. Artifact. Something's wrong. Their content or is it just Goss Prime? Goss Prime's not until next month. This is like the giant content drop for the year. Yeah, Goss Prime's not even coming out this month. That's next month. We're getting like story, a bunch of like new game modes, cross save, like that's what we're that's the update we're like that's getting in here. If it was just Goss Prime, I'd be like, oh, that's cool. We'll play. But, like, I would not be. When is it? Right. <clears throat> Isn't pretty after Goss? That's correct. New shards, too? Yep, three new shards. They're mixed shards. Also, I'll dip, I'll dip after another one or two runs. I eat. We need to purge this place, as we did in the old days. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. Your part is done here, Tenno. You've opened an Aroken vault. It appears unaffected by the infestation. You've got it. Something is different about this artifact. Something's wrong. Which one is the better seven shield stand uh, sword and shield dance? It's Final Harbinger. And Burden Bang. No streamer look now. I mean we got like a lot of the really good mods that I haven't seen overextended, which is fine. I got a bunch of mods that can easily be traded for one. Shade. Oh, yeah, 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 whatever. Operator, a communication awaits your. Do you use Eurocon Cipher for? Nope. It can be tough as a kid. That's a counter that tells you how many times you've done Eurocon Vault. You are here on a capture mission. You must. We need to purge this place, as we did in the old days. Oh, whoop. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. Your part is done here, Tenno. Hello. Aroken cells. Unlocked an Aroken vault. It's clean. Vault artifact acquired. You'll need to extract before we can verify its function. The corrupted will stop it from to prevent that artifact from escaping. This won't be easy. Oh, critical deceleration. That is a good one. It's a really good one. An extra narrow mind, I wouldn't mind trading one of my overextended. Uh, narrow mind is actually one of the other ones I don't have. Yeah, I think the only two at this point that I even want at all is narrow minded and overextended. Our flutter's in. All right, let's see. What, let's see what we got here. Would you care to check your mail? Okay. Um. I have an extra fleeting, an extra blind rage, an extra corrupt charge. 
Um... Yeah, I probably want to do a little bit more because I'm going to do like really horrible trades like Fleeting Expertise and Corrupt Charge for Overextended and then Blind Rage and something else that's actually good that I have an extra of, but I don't have a, enough extras yet. they're making a Suicide Squad Isekai anime. Yeah, I have seen that, and the animation actually looks really good. Also, Tycho and Fast, I'm inviting you both, if you would like to join for this. A what anime? It's a Suicide Squad anime Sometimes that is also an Isekai. Uh, and the animation they actually, they actually looks good. What they think they already know. Oh, Tycho's finishing our arbitration. All right, I can big chill. I right, switch shade out. Right, right, right. All right. Saddle up. I don't remember how many companion slots we start with. Enough. He's just a little guy. Nice. I'm MR8 now, so I can just slap these both on. <laughs> oh, yeah, Para, I can. Also, that's weird. You know what goes in your inbox, right? Wish you were on PSN. Corrupt charges the one corrupt that I need. Fair. Ask when we'll get free frame. That's tomorrow. But right, I still have all the keys. So Orand. Let's consider the most expensive mod in the game now. I think it's still Prime Chamber. People still sell Prime Chamber for like. Hundreds. You are here to find a target and bring them to the extraction point. Target located. Bring them in. How dare you go up? There we go. Prime reactor still exists. The instant max leveler. Mission complete. That didn't. Exist. That's has not been a thing. Escorted to the extraction point. Well done. Oh, that's the thing that <laughs> I forgot. That's the marker symbol for that. Also, yeah, that that's legendary course. Also, those are actually not very expensive, weirdly. You've opened an Arokin vault. Oh, somebody got it. It appears unaffected by the infestation. Vault artifact acquired. You'll need to extract before we can verify its action. Looks like some corrupted stay behind to guard the artifact. It must be horrible. Value of Endo is dropped. Yeah, definitely true. Magnum Force. Not bad. Not one I will ever use.
messages in your inbox, operator. Uh, they are not as encrypted as they should be. Never got one from Sorty with 6,000 hours in. Yeah, I've never had a, uh, a legendary core drop from Sorties, but I also don't do Sorties very often. When if we swap to Shattering Impact Farming and Gokora, I'll probably just solo that for laughs. It's a common. I'm actually kind of cute. Because, like, you're not going to get a squad. Like, you'll get a squad together for this. This is a super common farm. But you're not going to get a fucking squad together to go farm Shattering Impact. Where do you even farm Shattering Impact? I've had mine for years. You mean you've, have a, you've had hundreds of copies for years? They drop commonly from Drakar Butchers. We received intel that somebody to enemy operations is here. Find them and capture them. We need to purge this place, as we did in the old days. A pristine Aroken vault. Curious. Well done. You have the Where are you running? Back. Let's go. Target located. <laughs> Bring them in. It appears triggered security. The Corrupted are here. Mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. New players still get broken mods? No, broken mods, you can still get them, but players get the full real mod now, which is excellent. <clears throat> what the frog do it? We're farming corrupted mods. Uh, and then after that, I need to grab Shattering Impact, which will come up in a while. Another fleeting expertise. I mean, that's really good. Game said, here's another one of these. Trade for it. Trade for the thing you want. Here's the best one. Again. For a third time, bitch. Inbox messages await the operator. I wonder what they say. You need more than one? That's my third one. You do technically want to have two of them. But that's my third one. I already have two. I'm sure I at least try and tally the corrupted farm. Oh no, I'm like they all have like even chances to drop. What do you want, two of them? You want one rank four and one rank five. Rank four combined with rank four streamline is max efficiency without sacrificing more duration than you need to. And then the maxed one is used whenever you use it solo. We received intel that somebody vital... And D never did the, like, tuning mods thing. Target located. Bring them in. Mission complete. The cat has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. A pristine Aroken vault. Somebody found it. Curious. You've got it. Something is different. Curiouser and artifact. curiouser. Looks like some corrupted stay behind to guard the artifact. It must be valuable. God, I remember when these mods came out, it was outrageous.
People were losing their shit when these mods came out. For good reason. They're still the best mods in the game. There it is. We're done, boys. I still don't have a narrow-minded, but I can trade for one of those. Whatever. What mods? The corrupted mods. Later, Emac. Very good shit. Now let's do the farm that's going to take forever. Inbox messages await the operator. I wonder what they say. Uh, do I have an extra copy of Streamline? No, actually. That's fine. It don't matter anyway. Hmm. You know, I've just realized something. Is it actually... Uh, what's the number change here? Close to 35. Uh, it's, that's like 24% strength. They probably should not get rid of this. Mm. How much does this cost to cast? 75 this way. When in Cetus, do not drink the kabuchi. You are incapable hey, that's of fine. producing the hydraulic effort required to unstick your tongue from the roof of your mouth the following morning. Yeah, energy shouldn't be a consideration. I'm just worried the spawn rate's going to be too low. <laughs> worried the spawn rate's going to be too low. Your chosen Warframe suits you. Ha, ha. All right. So now the mission that we probably should do here is Ophelia. Can't think of anything else that would be defensively better. Oh yeah, the keys. Thank you. Not that it would matter, honestly. Hilariously. <clears throat> yeah, probably Ophelia. I wish I could do Steel Path. Because there's just more guys. <laughs> Keep the enemy while a fellow tunnel operative raids the ship for supplies. Ready? Trigger the alarm. Planning for Deathcube energy generator or nah? I, I did grab Deathcube so that I can do that, but it's on Calervo it's really not needed. They have just shut all systems. I'm sending life support capsules your way. Imagine if I just swung at these two guys and it just immediately was like, yeah, here you go. Yeah, outrageous. Okay, where is going to be a good place to hole up? This is pretty good. The personal life support modules dropped by fallen enemies. This is maybe not too bad. Tenno, what did you see? Realistically, once I get to 10 minutes, my life gets like a lot easier. Because then I start getting Eximus, which is pretty good for me. It will take some time to decipher. Concentrate on your mission for now. I've delivered a last capsule to the area. 
Activating it will buy you more time. At least I'll get a bunch of focus while I'm here, right? That's gonna be nice. Comfy, oh, there's an Xmas that died somewhere around here. They are the equal of our foe, and baby, they are there's a, another copy of Mobilize, hooray. <clears throat> Get ready for a capsule. support has arrived. if they released it at midnight no no way they do that that's just that that at that point that's like really shitty for your employees people have schedules like it's already a bit of a stretch to like launch it late in the day at like the game awards and we know they're not doing that obviously um But doing like midnight launch shit, like that just sucks. <clears throat> it is also shitty for actually releasing, that's also true. Time for hotfixes that doesn't cause overtime. Yeah. Start. Very big agree. When you need it, extraction is ready. <laughs> Survival. Yeah, no, I mean, that's Calervo. Fun to pull an all-nighter Thursday, though. I don't know about fun. You, you know, you know what's really fun whenever you're releasing like a big game update, um, <clears throat> or uh, you know, like a new game or anything like that. The most fun thing is to go home at five. <clears throat> 
true. Leaving on time is the best thing. Yep. If, if you launched a new video game or new big update to a video game and you leave at 5, yeah, that went great. Couldn't go better. Why is Heavy Cal fucking 80 pi right now? You gotta be hitting the filters wrong. There's no way. Oh, I'm not even at 10 minutes. Boom. Come on. The spawn rate hasn't even kicked up yet. Gonna be a few days of hot fixes. We want y'all to have the time to do those before break. Yeah, no, I mean, like the the real shit about like at least usually people here and definitely me. Um, the real reason we want the update like you know earlier and earlier in December or whatever is so that like whenever it's the option between like well D usually goes on Christmas break but game broken. It's like well that is awful because like I would never ask someone to like you know not do Christmas break because game broken. That sucks. But also game broken. Right? And that also sucks. I don't, it's mostly just everybody's got PTSD from Railjack is pretty much the TLDR. But like, at least around here we're understanding that like, yeah, no, people should have time off for the holidays. Rachel can change when Whispers releases. Well, yeah. Realistically, you may be able to transmute for it. I guess that's true. <clears throat> the common pool is pretty big, though. We know we're not getting a TGA release. Reb very specifically called that out on Twitter. They are not releasing tomorrow. We know that. So do not plan for that. We know that's not happening. I'd honestly be more miffed if it did happen at this point. <laughs> Something cool at least has to happen tomorrow. Yeah, we got we got like a little preview on um, on Twitter earlier today. Uh, some new voice actors, uh, Astarian's voice actor and Clive's voice actor. Clive from Final Fantasy 16, Astarian from Baldur's Gate 3 are going to be um, doing some new characters. The VA for Clive is going to be Arthur. Uh, Astarian is perhaps a talking Norg? That's what it seemed to be. That looked like a fucking talking Norg.
is a norg yes well we don't know that it talks but that is that it's definitely a norg it appears that it would be a talking one it's got the aesthetics of a talking varietal of norg we get two fish this update yeah It's got word saying energy. Yeah. It brings a sort of cerebro vibe that Norg usually lack. I don't think we know fully objectively that the fish talks. It didn't seem like it was a thing that I can say with 100% certainty that that fish talks. But in my soul, I feel as though that fish talks. Criminal if the fish didn't talk with all the get up going on. Yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> so happy I grabbed overextended. Can the Xmas one drop me the mod I need? Die. So it doesn't miss the mark if it does talk. Hey, if it's a Starian's voice actor, I don't think that's gonna happen. Seems pretty fucking unlikely. There it is, Shattering Impact. We did it. See, that wasn't too bad. Not even 15 minutes. Just Oh, it's almost 15 minutes, but that's not bad. We will all share in this bounty. Hold out as long as I got a Hornet Strike. Wow. is not coming out tomorrow. Whispers Walls is not coming out tomorrow. Also, hey, 70,000 70, Zenerik. Huh? How about that? Man, the, the fucking focus changes were really good. It was a 15, that was a 15 minute survival. 70,000 focus. Changes were fucking good. Operator, messages have arrived in your inbox. Is that, is that exactly enough for the two things I want to get? 160. Uh, it's 105. Okay, so we're almost there. Uh, let's increase the regeneration of energy first. <clears throat> were the focus changes just number boosts? Uh, some of them were numbers in new places and also boosts. But yeah, it, it's, it, it's a combination. Okay, so now we have Shattering Impact. For anyone who doesn't know what Shattering Impact is for here, 
Uh, the shattering impact is four, so you can see this weapon has any amount of impact damage on it whatsoever. It actually has, like, you know, a pretty good chunk of impact damage, but that doesn't matter. Uh, the thing that shattering impact does is it reduces enemy armor every time you hit them, and it reduces based on base armor. So, if I take this weapon and I hit an Eidolon until it has no armor, it makes my life a million percent easier. Well, he's still giggling at you. Yeah, it's because I haven't done Chimera Prologue yet. So he just hangs out down here. Oh, he went away already. But that's why Lotus Helmet looking evil, though. Can I make a Forma? I don't have a Forma I can make. Um. I don't have any important BPs like that to make. Should be ready to solo one. Well, I'm going to use the Necromech for it, so... Uh, nearly is the answer. I have to wait for this to be built, of course, then it'll need some levels. Uh, oh yeah, I needed to check what I have in terms of this stuff. I've got Parallax Scope. Which will need to be leveled, so I'm just going to level that now, actually. Yes, yeah, so I've got Parallax Scope, um, and Rubido Lined Barrel. So I need, like, at least an electric mod, ideally. What is the electric mod even called? Charged shell? Question mark? Is that just the shotgun one? Charged shell shotguns. What is the electric? <sighs> the hell is its name? Electrified barrel. Okay. This button. Just gonna drop off Lancer Dregs. And also a mission I haven't done, apparently. Um, does anyone want to look at the wiki real quick and tell me what mission that is? All the raiders drop it. Raiders are the little nothing grenier enemies. How have I not gotten one of these? I did not know you could do that in modding. That's correct. Kalis? Planet? Kalis. Oh, it's the fucking... What rotation is it on? I guess I'll look it up here. Hold on one second. Ten percent drop on rotation B. Woof. Oh, these rewards are so terrible. I don't remember which enemy type Operative are raiders. Communication awaits your attention. Justin, how far in are we? Well, I mean, we're really far in. We're like about ready to do new war. I just have to wait for the void rig to build. Cosma, it's all, all the raiders can drop electrified barrel. Cosmos, Earth, Proxima, Exos, Veil, Proxima, right, 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 but wait, I don't remember which, what, what they look like. 
Usually the thing with the railjack enemies is that they disappear from my sight instantaneously, so I have not read their names most of the time. They usually vanish before I would even have time to do so. Raiders are the Tonkor dudes on ram sleds. Oh, it's the guys that invade the ship. It's not one of the little dudes in space. In the level void rig before new war? No, I'm gonna do it afterwards. And the system is a better place. Oh, it's these fucking guys. Oh, that's actually that, that explains why I don't have one. Okay, um A new plan. Is what's still here? Is the fucking Oh no. Uh, that's unfortunate. The event is not still going on. <laughs> Oof. Gearing our guns. Want to throw up. It's so awful. There's got to be one that sucks less to get than that. What do we got for the other Archon Elemental names? I say Archon, I'm an Archagun. Electromagnetic coating. That doesn't exist. They're shielding. Combustion rounds. Dregs. Dregs are the pilots on the planes, right? What's your in-game username? Uh, this account's name is Critical Frog. Yeah, Co Cosma, Eviscerator, and Suppressors. Sure, sure, sure. But it, it's on foot enemies, which makes it, like, crazy shitty to try and farm that. Dregs are the little blue enemies in Arcwing missions. Oh, okay. That would be better. Charged bullets. Yeah, this is the profit taker thing. Electro commanders, apparently, but that's super rare. <clears throat> Breaks of the little blue enemies in the Arcwing missions. That might be my best bet, unfortunately. Aeolus has combustion and venomous clip at rotation A. At a super fun 2.5% drop chance. Yeah, if the drop chances weren't like astronomically shitty. If that mission wasn't astronomically shitty, I might be more inclined. Unfortunately, it's interception with four points for a single player. Oh yeah, in here. If you actually, if you don't, if only if you don't have a mod, it'll tell you where it comes from. Maybe a lucky transmute. Um, I think if I, I don't think I have an, oh, I guess I have magazine extensions. It's made for 12k, sure. Oh no, is it not, does it not have to be an arc mod if you do all arc, oh, that's unfortunate. I thought that the recipe would work that way because four stances becomes a stance. That's unfortunate. Nothing's here. Oh, is four stances only 50 50 on being another stance? Okay. Yeah, 
have not thought about how horrible these mods are in a long time. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Getting art gun mods. It's the reason why art gun mods should all be retired and we should just use regular goddamn primary mods. Because like it's hell to get these mods farmed. Because like all the missions for them suck. And like it just sucks. Like systemically it's awful. <laughs> Like, like, the, the real shit is, like, go in, like, remove Kalis, like, remove Celestia, remove all of the, like, solo arc wing missions, remove all that, change the arc gun mods to just use regular primary mods, remove all of those mods, like, remove all of the arc wing mods, just use Warframe mods, who cares, like. Like, that's what, that's what I would love to see for arc wing, is, like, remove every mod for all the arc wing stuff. And just, like, have it use regular mods. Like, it would remove, like, a lot of bloat in the game. Um, and also, like, no one wants to play these missions. <laughs> like, no one wants to play Kalos. Like, this mission is terrible. Ugh. Yeah, I'm more likely just to shoot dregs on Urpo. I'll slap this in here. I forgot Arc Wing is a thing. Valid. You know, it's definitely a byproduct of just like the way Arc Wing released. Arc Wing morphed into what it needed to be eventually. Like originally, it was supposed to be its own mode that you were supposed to want to do. Best way to get Arc on Element mods now is is betting your life away in trade chat. I mean, yeah, I guess so. They're actually the mods are actually probably kind of expensive. Just because no one's doing these missions. God, am I about to do Kalis? Ugh. This might not even be doable in my current arc wing. Because just getting any like upgrades at all for arc wings is pain. On the bright side, the Archibex also wants these mods. Oh, make no fucking mistake. The only reason I want to get these is for the Archibex. Let's not pretend I want arc wing mods they just go on the archibex like let's let's not let's not mince words here i don't want to play arc wing or make my arc wing better that is a that is that's just, that's just for idiots i don't want to do that archibex ribbons do not exist that is not a thing Is this the point you'd want to build the Amisha? It's not the point you'd want to. It's at the point where it might make your life suck less. Woof. Erpo, just give it to me. It's a lure the Amish, or the other two might as well not exist. Well, one of them you start with. Incidentally, what's a good place to level up Necromex? Best place to level up Necromex is Survival on Railjack. Runner-up is just running around the open worlds, getting a high alert. 
satellites in the vicinity contain important surveillance data. Defense that's survival on Lua. No, the survival on Lua has limited time. Railjacket sucks for it. Spawns a ton of dregs. I really, literally, like, I'm gonna settle for just one elemental. I just need one. And like I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that it, like anyone's ever gonna be able to get a party together with Kalos. That's not like me or another content creator. That's just simply not real. Like this mission, I like you can solo and like uh, technically eventually you'll get it. Like it sucks, but it's the way that it is. will join you i understand chat i know you guys will join me but you will not join random guy doing fucking k-less like you guys aren't playing that shitty mission <clears throat> this is this is one of those things where it's like yes me as a content creator i can get three people to join me for that piece of shit mission but like even asking in the discord i i would never anticipate that anyone would like want to do that as opposed to just like like, you guys would be more likely to buy the mod from someone else and give it to the new player so that you don't have to do k -less. You know what I mean? They're right, that's not an enemy. That's the thing I'm defending. Still Brain. On it. Continue to defend. Do the do the Dargans drop anything for me? Do they have any like decent mod that they drop? Like an elemental or anything like that? Like a good like something halfway decent. I really want to do Railjack with my B uh, uh, with the B my gunner program and I like Railjack. Mm. Find the next satellite. Marking really should just not exist at all in this day not. Yeah, it's it's just it's rough. This is it. Defend the satellite while <laughs> I extract what we Come on. Really like Arcwing's not that bad. It's just like if you want to get mods for it, you have to do like the bad parts of it. You know what I mean? Like the good parts of Arcwing are like, hey, it's like a taxi cab, you can use it on the open worlds and it goes fast. That's nice, isn't it? Cool, cool, cool. Like the, like arc wings as they stand currently are basically like glorified um they're, they're glorified motorcycles it's the motorcycle in cyberpunk it's like oh yeah i can use that to go from place to place do i really want to do combat on it like no but it might be funny sometimes as a joke still working on it polar magazine yeah that would that would do yeah, if the Dargans drop the cold mod, that would not be... I would settle for that. If I, if I get a single elemental, I'm done. That should be enough. Have been hacked. 
Move to extraction. Doesn't help that the Odonata is just hideous. I don't. I think visually it's fine. <clears throat> for for me, no, nothing that like. Like, visually, I mean, if this is a visually uninteresting map or whatever, right? Like, you're just, like, out in the nothing or whatever. Um, but other, other than something like that, I don't think that Arcwing is, like, visually a negative. Oh, wait, shit, I did get Polar Magazine. Oh, fuck. We're done. Thank Christ. Oh, I get it. They're, like, mounts for content. I like them fine enough for that. These missions were a mistake, though. Yeah. Okay, just this should be plenty. Ordis has received messages for the operator. No, I have not read them. Most satisfactory. Okay. Yeah, so this is what our um <laughs> Oh man. This is what for our Necromech our build is gonna look like. On its four. And then this is what we're going to do Eidolons with. And I am not kidding. I'm not going to check my inbox. Somebody sent me a gift and I don't accept those on the free to play. It seems a little light. It should be fine. Can't you just delete it? No. Can't you disable gifting in your settings? Yes, but that also disables trading, which I want I have to have on. Why not just use the mausoleum? on? Not the Imperator. These are the three mods I'm going to have on the Necromex 4. Which is not an Archon at all. It just uses the mods. Of course I'm going to use the Mazlon whenever it's done building. There's no reason to use any other Archon. Well, the, uh, as of the next update, that may change. But yeah, the Void Rig is still building. This is going to take another two days. Outside Cetus. You may derive sustenance from mineral-dense termite droppings, which the Ostrons call Ito Da. You may also I thought Ark is modded separately. It is! It just uses the Ark on mods. And that's all the shit that I got. Um... Is there any slash? Maybe I'll throw this on too. Is there any slash damage on it? I don't know if there's slash damage on the Archibex. There might be. Could be. Possible. No? Well, we tried. Well put together, Operator. Now get out there and... Cut down the... And make the Lotus proud. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Did I get that K-Drive? I do have the K-Drive. It's 10 impact, 9,000 blast, and 3k heat. Okay. I'm adding cold to it. Incredible. I'm sure that'll be fine, though. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, the, the best thing I could get 
And if it actually comes down to and it is necessary, I will, I guess. Um, go farm the heat and electric elementals. But I doubt that that will come up. question what is your question electric is from profit taker the dual stat is yeah oh wolf park that sucks you have the tatsu i have better than the tatsu i have the fucking azathane I want the Tatsu. Okay. Is there anything else I want to do before New War on this account? Oh shit, we're for real? There's not really anything in here for me. Eruption's funny. Do I want to do this just to get a bunch of focus? How much is my focus cap for the rest of the day? I actually got like a ton of it. Like just groups, like playing. I can get 95,000 more. That's not very much. There's gotta be something I'm not thinking about that I should grab. There's certainly not much more that I need. I could do Nightwave stuff. Welcome. Not this one. Did I not manage to do... I must have managed to do, like, catch up, like, on a different thing. I, dare, I must have done this one. That's all from me. Anything for post-new war that you need, that you might need? Uh, oh, you know what? I should go and make progress on this to grab the helmet for laughs. I don't need to go grab the helmet, but I should, I should do that. Thank you, dear. Very kind. Scurry back quick. Skippy hop. You need to install shards. Yeah, 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 but that's not that's not like impending or anything like that. Poor Kaylee thinks this family <clears throat> may yet have a future. Where is the monotony? Is bearable. Helmet Sigma blueprint. Oh, they need kill. some adromal alloy. And I have everything else for it, actually, which is... Wait, uh, that's so funny. I randomly got the purple Velocipod tags I need. Why does this even need purple Velocipods? Don't get lazy out there. I shall languish in weary solitude until you return. Well, that was easy. Check your inbox, operator. <laughs> and I also have extra travel ride for this. Okay, I'm just built alternatively. Got it. I already farmed all of the random shit I would need for this. Good job. Past Prozyme. Well done. Any mods from the void? I could try and get Split Chamber. I think most of your Railjack stuff is finished building. I know my hull hasn't finished building. The guns are ready, though. 
Oh, did I start my reactor? Oh, no, no. I need to get the Aucrux. That's funny, so I'm going to do that. We'll we'll do that. We'll do let's let's do let's do some some railjack progression. Not because I need to, but because I can. Operator, <laughs> you have foundry items ready. Claim them now. At your element own. segment, yeah. Make this. That'll be ready tomorrow, I guess. I've been thinking, operator. I thought you'd want to know. Okay, well that's did that. Um, did you just do railjack? Yeah, we did like a different kind of progression though. Phoenix Proxima should get you all you need. Yeah. Like, for sure. And obviously, I'm not going to do it tomorrow whenever my hull is ready. Ready to claim. Claim. Equip the Mark III Zetifo Tours. Shit's busted. Yeah, this needs I need three of them. And then this is yeah, this is like the twelve hour build, so this isn't ready till tomorrow. Might have some fuse material. Well, fuse material you still have to spend some resources though resources though. Cause I can valence fuse this with this one. Um, but you see we'll see what it'll it will cost. I guess that's actually really, really low though, so never mind. I guess I'll just do it. I have more of these. Uh, yeah, I have two more. Oh. Just fucking, just fucking be better, dude. Okay, cool. I have, I have the best possible Zetki Photors. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Chet. Don't scrap that. Hold on, back out of this menu. Scrap recovered. This is what I actually want. Don't need this. Uh, I want the Levon engines. Von Votor is like technically those can come up. I'm just gonna keep it. Let's uh Okay, then there's another eighty six hundred endo also. <clears throat> I still have the Levon engines that I can repair if necessary. I have my Zetki shield as well, Levon Votors if I wanna use them. Neat. Anyway. I just have over 30k Endo on the free-to-play. And Endo really is not a problem anymore, huh? That's wild. It will. So it's only not a problem if you play this. A lot of people simply don't play this. Levon Engine Smart 3. Oh, there we go. Weird. What does this take to repair? This gives the good this gives the good boost, which is why it's so good. Um what do you need? Null stones, ISO, uh, another ISOs. Okay, so ISOs is what I'm short on there. Hopefully I get the other aura I want while going through Earth. 
Maybe check a shield. Oh yeah, I mean I have the Zep keys. These are like barely better in terms of capacity, which is all that's like really gonna end up mattering. Oh crazy ship! This is the frog. It's the bullfrog. The inside cosmetics didn't save. I guess that bug's back. Aggregator. Expect an uptick in orgo efficiency. All right, time to do the first mission. Also, did you see that a Star NV is going to be in Warframe? Yeah. I still have not spent my starter plat. That's true. That's a fact. Targets on the board. Good hunting. They have launched fighters. I have hit two. Smash. Particle Ram Enjoyer. Yeah, I don't have the missiles yet. We have one less probe ship to be concerned with. Direct attention to remaining targets. Heads up for the air crow ship. And in, in lieu of my EMP not being very good, these enemies are low level, so I can just shoot them. Crit damage mod, that's a good one. Crit critical chance, very nice. Both staples. Shatterburst is an effective in Veil, fair warning. Yes, it is. What? Are you using the correct reactor, Tom? against the Corpus cruise ships for the shields. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. <clears throat> got 14 ISIS. Nice. The have deployed a How's my ammo? Platform to this sector. That explains the lack of civilian radio traffic. Take it down. I have two. Okay, good.
Looks like we kicked the nest. Vrigir cruise ship has punched in. Camille tells me for 10 on July. Yeah, I know it's early, but it's a lot also a lot cheaper. I'm also I also got it. Yes, yeah, so Sarah Sarah got that uh that all set up for us to do that. So it should be a really good time. Eliminated. Focus on remaining targets. Hull breach, we are breaking apart. Immediate oh, ship killer. Frame integrity preserved. Good job. Return to duty. Ram sleds inbound. Roll out the welcome mat. Ship killer platform identified. This is a priority target. Infiltrate and disable. It is impossible to say how many innocents may have already lost their lives to it. This part's going to be the annoying bit. Arcwing slingshot loaded. Tenno in the barrel. Probably should go see if I can hire some basic crew, huh? Hello, everyone. Oh, yeah. Flames extinguished. Return to stations. We can clean up later. Frig, can they just run into it? Away crew. No, no, I, I have to have some kind of forward Destroy momentum, right? Okay. Components. Yeah, oh yeah, the first thing you want, obviously, is an engineer, yes. Real Joker for now. Yeah, I just don't have any. It hasn't been a need. Turn around, get in here. Unwelcome visitors inbound. Prepare to repel. We are burning. Deal with it. Those guys could theoretically actually drop things for me. Of doing railjack, it gives you a shitload of good rewards. It has been the source of all of the credits and endo I've needed on this account. I've gotten some endo in some other places, but the vast majority of the endo I have is from railjack on this account. Like, a vast majority. Ship killer platform. 
fallen offline permanently. Well done. Multiple bogeys. Man the guns. Couldn't agree with two gunners and an overworked engineer at first. Any composition recommendations since then? Uh, no. You can add uh, a gunner that can also pilot if you want to, but it's not like it's not great right now. The 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 AI needs some like help. It will sometimes work though. Oh, wait, a thing I can actually match make for realistically. We or I can't change from this, though. This is our home. Defend it. Alert. Fires. Alert. This shit is on fire. It's fine. Oh, laser rifle's done. Railjug gets miles better with a few intrinsics and some, up and some upgraded gear. Yeah, and the upgraded gear is really not hard to get. You just, like, join somebody who's doing Tier 3 missions, grab some of that stuff, and you're done. Attention. Void storm imminent. This will get a little bumpy. Crew. Missile battery. Oh, they're not giving me anyone? If we do not Usually these are actually not hard to match for. They will reinforce. I guess let's see how much of a problem this is then. Will this just kill? Is the question immediately. It will just kill some of them, which is still pretty good. Oh, we are getting people joining. Okay, cool. real concern here is my uh, hull is unupgraded because <clears throat> that's building currently Seven ISIS is good. Averted. Mission continues. Enemy fighter support has been halved. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, this man's just flying now. All right, whatever. Works for me. <clears throat> Later, Wub. Storm is becoming more severe. Yeah, the shield will continue to do a good work here in the front, even without the reactor. Alert. Enemy cruise ship on scope. I'm going to go... Well, if this guy's going to pilot, then I'm just going to go to the sub-objective, because we got to do it at some point anyway. Missile battery. It has to go. Standard op. Infiltrate and flag the core. Execute. Bogies on scope. Good hunting. You're near a fissure. Hull breach. Repeat. Hull breach. There it is. Blast that radiator. Void sink forming. Eyes open. Okay, at the 30 second mark, I'm doing a big concern. You are going to need more reactors if you want to open that relic. Catch that breach or this relic. Okay, doing a big concern. Going back. Repressurizing. Fire alert resolved. Boarding party eliminated. Ship secured. Back to work. Yeah, without the upgraded hull, Void Storm is a little more dangerous for the ship. Breach sealed. Railjack integrity restored. The enemy have called in a crew ship. Just wave your face around and kill everyone. That's the Ready fucking best thing about Particle Ram. Back. deal with this. Oh, not enough Revolite. Oh, we're going to die. He's got it. He might have it. We're going to find out. All right. Seconds away. God damn it. Am I out of fucking shots with this? God fucking damn it. Ship on scope. 
One down, one to go. I'm gonna hide underneath this. Okay. Dropping Fenno out of airlock. Void storm escalating. Stabilizing is proving it difficult. Out we go. Prepare to repel borders. All right, note to self: until my hull's done, I won't do more void storms. Do need another hull for this. Void storm amplifying. Complete the mission ASAP. Key components marked. Destroy them. We have a breach. That is the problem with missile batteries. They are packed with explosives. Cook-off gutted the place. Moving on. Repressurizing. All right, we'll go find that fucking last cruise ship and cook him. Can't see shit, fam. There we go. We have one less cruise ship to be consumed. Oh, hey, sure. Direct attention to remaining <laughs> targets. Breach sealed. Railjack integrity restored. Objectives fulfilled. Don't say I got the electric barrel mod. Are you for real? God damn it, I did. It was so worth it. <laughs> That's so, so funny. I concur, friend. We should go back to the dry dock. Yeah the, the, yeah, the random was not on the ball with the repair because he was crafting more Revolite, which is entirely understandable. The what? We got Electrified Barrel. Real one for toughing it out. Agreed. Needs to try to improve Railjack or just leave it alone? It's already good. I think it's a five percent drop from any boarding party, so getting pounded at, pounded turned out to be in your favor. True. Turned out to be massively in my favor. God, I cannot fucking believe that shit though. Still, really funny. Also, as a bonus, we get a level of void flow. They are not as encrypted as they should be. From here, from, from after one level of each of these, these get expensive enough that I should go back to Wellspring. But I, I like this so far. I might actually grab one level of uh, drag as well. Man, imagine, imagine just normally playing the game and then focus like levels over time. Can you imagine? None of, none of you have previously experienced this. Well, well, maybe very few of you actually new players have experienced this. But they, they did it. They made it so Focus does the thing that they said it, they wanted it to do. We're finally there. Where you play the game and get Focus. <laughs> I 
it's such a better system now. <laughs> like, all hilariously so. Operator, all accounted for. No more Equinox grind, it's true. If I may say, Operator, your chosen than ever, true facts. suits you. Ha, ha. Finish out Earth. Adara might as well be Equinox's home base now with how much focus farming went on there. That's definitely facts. Crazy is that I wasn't even that big of a change. Like, this could have happened years ago. Yeah, they just did. Just, just having um, the ram on gives you so many resources. We have one less troop ship to be concerned with. Direct attention to remaining targets. Alert! Enemy cruise ship has translated into the sector. Stop turning. I can't see shit, dog. There we go. I love Particle Ram. You know what's funny? Particle Ram is the thing that ha oh hey wow conic nozzle nice that's actually that's actually good. Particle Ram is the thing in Rail Jock Rail Jock Rail Jack that has always been like fun. Like, they, they nailed Particle Ram and won. Yeah, well, fun and useful, yes. But they, they nailed that one just, like, instantly. Like, you know what's cool? Ramming a motherfucker. Ow. Crisis averted. Mission continues. Updating target manifest, Galleon Captain. 
Board and kill. Missile impact imminent. Yeah, I'll be honest, I forgot those were guns. Like, I forgot these big ships even did that. If they can fire back... Okay, that's bullshit, though. Okay, what you... You know that's bullshit, what just occurred here. Did you see that shit? Not enough Rebel Light. This seems like a safe place. Okay, wait, that's that's an insane bullshit though. Wait, what? Where are you supposed to go? Not enough Revelite, apparently, I'm being told. side of the ship, but there's more cannons over here. Yeah, I guess I'm going over here, bud. Okay, I'm parked up. Jesus. <clears throat> Alright, massive asteroid, good shield. Hull breach. Immediate repair required. Shut your dumb ass up. What? I totally did not remember how stupid this is. Find the tower? Yeah, pretty much. In the tower. Okay, now we all agree. If he hits me here, that motherfucker's cheating. <laughs> What's that, babe? One moment. Missile impact imminent. Don't you dare say missile impact. How dare you? Is that Sarah here? Oh. <laughs> she forgot where the camera is. So this is where I've hidden my ship. It's in this big tube in the sky. And hopefully, hopefully these guns can't shoot through the asteroid belt and this shit and kill me. Because they've been doing it so far. I forgot that was even a thing. Zero reveal. <laughs> no. No. Brace for missile impact. It go it goes to the monitor. That's the it's a, it's a really good indicator. <laughs> me, <wait. laughs> I tell you what, I'll I'll fix this problem for you. Hold on.
Why will it not let me see chat if I'm not logged in? I don't want to have to log in. All right, I'll fix this problem for you in the future. You know that if you want to watch, I'm live. All right, I'll be right back, chat. One second. All right, I'm back. Arms. But it's a direct angle. I guess that is your arm. Para arm. What do you hate? It's a perfect indication. You can't, it, it's not that you can't stand there. What do you mean? You are standing there currently. What, what is... You've always been arm. You are arm is on hand. Arm. The wrist is just the connecting point of the hand and the arm. Hmm. Okay. Great, now we need a Sarah arm emote. <laughs> Canonically, Sarah is just an arm. That's true. She's either an arm or a gremlin. Or a Gara, that's true. Fibonacci is the fish. Oh, dope. The Starian's the fish. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. We're back. I grabbed a snack. <clears throat> if your girlfriend's a disembodied hand, that has implications. Uh huh. Era? What is the yelling happening? The content council for fish image. Oh, is there a better fish image? Oh, there is. Oh, God. The 
image. Okay, so who's going to be the first person to put Astarian's hair on this fish? Did I kill him with my two? Are you for I got the pennant blueprint. That's funny. I also got fucking quasar drill. Come on, where is it? There it is. Captain terminated. Closing mission. Crew, avail yourselves of up to, but no more than five minutes downtime. Before we continue, let's go talk to Ticker and see how horrifically bad it'll be to grab a crew. It'll be real expensive. Contact council real quick. One second. I'm spinning. Look at this fish. Gotta get my hotel for Tenacon. I'm glad I already did. <clears throat> has messages for the operator. Anything about orders in there? Is the pennant good? No. It's okay. Gonna build the amateur itzel? Nope. Not if I don't have to. Time's running out for those on my book, Stardust. What have you got for me? You have a railjack, but you need a crew. Unconventional people require unconventional work. Purpose. So naturally, I looked at my little network. There's a gunner. System, thought of you, and. Not too expensive uh, either. If I'm honest, this was all Little Duck's idea. She made such a good case, I couldn't say no. Come, let Ticker introduce you to the gang. You'll love them. There's a pilot. They're a hoot. Or repair. Well, the, the trouble with repair is you need repair and endurance. Otherwise, they really suck. Interestingly, this character can actually kind of flex. Like, they have four repair... So, like, I could just flex them into, a, like, a repair and then turn them into a gunner later. Actually, same for this person. But these, this person's stupid expensive, dude. They're 12,000 carbide. It's dire dumb. Yeah, this person, I could pop one repair and then just, like, slam two endurance on them. Or just, like... Two four four, that would be not bad. And 
and then I can just become a gunner later. Yeah, welcome to the crew, it's Junk. Harsh universe, Stardust. Watch out for each other. Your family now. Check back in a little bit. New merchandise all the time. All the damn time. Something well, else I should check well, with you, Ticker. Here comes hope for the hopeless. Give me some good news, Stardust. The trainings and shelters. I need to see what I need to rank up. It's actually a pretty cheap training bit. shelter. New oh, well there. We gonna do this? Sure. I need training and shelter. I need 11 training. I only need one shelter, though. Okay, so I need a bunch of training. Copy that. Keep a shiny product. I think the next rank needs a ton of shelter, though. Ain't no I forget. Victims on these lists, Stardust. There's only 48,000, though, so it's kind of nothing. The There's no shame yeah, I'll grab this. Your fellow creatures. Crazy expensive. All oh, these are stupid expensive, though. So echo winders. Are echo winders commons? Echo winders are just like right out front of Fortuna and they're like the regular fish, aren't they? this one mm, where do sap caddies come from well oh, these are also out front I just go fish out front a little bit because this is the eight training which would get me the rank up I'll be here. Forgot how annoying Fortuna ranks are. Oh, it's the worst. It is like, is there a worse Syndicate rank up experience? I don't think that there is. Throw us to all outbound rail tractors. Don't talk to me till it's done. Credits for Conclave. Okay. You got me there. Conclave. Samaris? Samaris doesn't even rank up. You just get points and it's so easy. You got me on the Conclave though, for sure. Ben Kids. No, Ben Kids actually is not that bad. The Sap Caddy and Echo Wander are right in the front door. Sap Caddy is just cold weather and Echo Wander is warm. Okay. What do you mean is the daily night wave? Feed the maw. I've never seen that one. Oh, that's fishing in Duviri. It's actually pretty fun. It's very different. Let's say again. Uh, if you do a Duviri run, uh, you can run up to a lake, and then you can feed. You can you can play as the maw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you turn into the maw and then eat a bunch of fish. It's actually pretty fun. You never fed the maw, bro? <clears throat> Fishing in Duviri's third-person Pac-Man? Yeah, pretty much. A third-person Pac-Man with no ghosts. I 
glad you're doing this for free to play through. I need to get my railjack up to speed. And, oh yeah, it's it's like getting railjacks up to speed. It's really not bad. It's really not bad. Like I'm like mine is like I'm waiting for the hull and then I'm pretty much there honestly outside of just like optimizing to farm super fast. Imagine if replaying more within and throwing yourself to the maw counted for the night wave. That'd be really funny, actually. They sh they should do that unironically because it would be hysterical. Oh, cold in one minute. That's why Echo Winders are out. It's been warm this whole time. <laughs> well, whatever. Winders if they appear, yeah. You know, they're, they're those are bait fish usually, bait bots, if you will. Um, so I don't suspect that they will show, but be transitioning to cold, yeah. Oh, well done, Tome. You gotta post that in chat. You gotta post that in chat, and also can I post that on Twitter and just reply directly to Rebecca with it? Yeah, go for it, hell yeah. There we go. That's hilarious. I, ho I hope that Reb sees that. Because that's very funny. <laughs> what points am I looking for for a starting crew for Railjack? Um, ideally, you would get one that is only three points away from five repair, five uh, endurance. Because 5 Repair, 5 Endurance is your um, really good repair starter. Eventually, you can upgrade beyond that. But 5 Endurance, 5 Repair is excellent. This makes them survivable and good at repairing.
So a three repair, five endurance is good. Three repair, five endurance is excellent. And then for high, for a high end repair, you want them to also have five combat. But that that's only whenever you're getting into high end crew members. That's the only time you even can get that. Best pilot is five pilot, five gunnery, five endurance. Yep. And then best gunner is usually just five gunner. Um, five gunner and then the passive that you want is really the TLDR for gunners. But it's not a huge deal. Fan pilots aren't more reliable. Yeah, I agree. They're really close. Uh, they're really close to being reliable. They just, they just aren't where you want them to be yet. Okay, I think this is enough. I think I can get both of those things now, so that's fine with me. Yeah, I just not need a lot of help. Also, it's not even that, like, you could just, you could actually, like, hack it. Like, just do, like, fuck it. Um, and be like, hey, if you have a pilot assigned outside objectives, complete themselves. Like, that would be really good, right? Like, that's fine. I don't need them to actually do it. If you just assigned that as, like, a rule, I would be like, yeah, I respect it. Absolutely. That's helpful. That's what I want them to do. That's basically what should happen anyway. Whatever, right? Strategic deletion of it. You don't seem to need help with that. Shout out when you're done. Decent. Needs maintenance, but in good condition. I love what I do, but never... Eyes open and face to the wind. Have pilot skill determine how fast the objectives get completed. Sure, yeah. Things over the course of a life. Who they are, who they should okay. be. Everyone Grab this. Shouldn't be a crime. And then, uh, how long do I have for this? I have an hour and 42. How far am I from my rank up? Because I actually should wait and see if I even actually do need those. There's work, if you want it. Oh, I can get my rank up right now, actually. Okay, we're going to rank this up. Also, you guys get to see... For anyone who hasn't seen it, you get to see new hunting. the one thing that is hard to catch. Well, it's not hard to catch. It's hard to catch well, I suppose. Why is there an Xmas here? Roller roll, I hit you in the... Okay, why is there a fucking always an Xmas with the animals? Go away. Enemies in enemies in Fortuna only spawn if you're doing something else. Noted. Polarol is hard to catch though. Anyway. Uh, one of them got away. That's fine. These two are worth plenty of rep on their own. 
Why are there just like a trillion rachnoids and shit? Go away. Only one popper, that's fine. Are you wanting what do you mean new? Oh, the, they updated it so that you can see like the direction of the animals whenever they spawn. So, like if I made, if I made, uh, I'll show you in this next one. Then I'm going to go to the area that usually spawns Cooperdons. Okay, see this? Whenever I'm not looking at this animal, you see that big yellow blink? It's showing me the animal is in that direction. There they are. just moving though i'm not too late are they together that rules actually for me okay not if they fuse together though actually apparently that's fine for me 1200 1200 okay. a fully grown specimen So like just that was 3600. Formidable. Like I've I've been out here for 4 minutes and I have 5100 rep. And I fucked up two of the hunts. <laughs> what okay. kind? Flossies, these are worth the least amount, but that's fine. one of the white vermin. Brother, are you underwater? He's fine. He's walking out. Female. A white-breasted vermin. Fairly common and lively. I also, yeah, the free hunting is, like, infinitely better than not. Now I'm gonna Oop. Do we have another one already? Not for this one though. I mean as long as like the hunt train keeps going, I'm just gonna keep doing it. This one's kind of a weird position. This one's a really weird position. What the hell? Where are you? 
Oh, wait, is this one of the harassed? This one that digs? What's this all got? Ends a spotted Bolarola. Bolarolas I honestly usually just run up on. These boys are armored. Female. Spotted. A somewhat common subspecies, this one. Such a sweet Holy face, shit. don't you think? Thousand rep. More flossies, which is not a bad thing. saw me which makes sense well their vision is remarkable when it comes to mating the sorgo appreciate the tactile more than the visual delightful plumage that's the more expensive saga It'll swap back to the trank. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I, I'm just using my numpad to uh, trank swap. Wouldn't give a fortune to have this magnificent avian confined to a gilded enclosure in some distant villa. You preserved a rare and magnificent thing this day. Really far away. Not great captures, but it's fine. Oh, perfect capture, you're telling me. Oh, I'm at cap. We did that. I can go rank up now. I fell asleep. How was Railjack? Good. <clears throat> Very sketchy to do a void storm before upgrading my hull at all, but we we made it. We made it, and we got a good mod out of it as well. Make it quick. Utico, That's rank heavy. my ass up. Solaris United don't trust easy. No worries, we got you sorted. I think these don't matter, and I should probably just make like one of these. I think these are all... Yeah, Deep Breath is the one that I might actually use. Yeah, these are all worthless. So I'll probably just grab one of these. Probably Hespazim. The bonds are the only sticking point. And they are the roughest sticking point. Imagine, here they are. Here they are. Here's, here's the, usually for most people, 6 to 12 hour farm. Don't you guys love to hear that? The 6 to 12 hour farm for 13 fucking medical bonds? Moving on, moving on. Be like... 
Here's the kicker for Ticker. The temple six to twelve hours? It took me six to twelve months. Yeah, see. fair enough. Ticker gets caught helping a repo. That's me done, Stardust. Uh, I need the training bonds, too. I need eight, though. So I would really rather wait for, like, something that gives me eight to pop back up. I just need Sap Caddy as well. And then Axidroll Alloy. I have an hour and a half for this. I could probably go grab some more Sap Caddies. Is Axidroll Alloy the refined version? There's no shame. You know where to find me. Because we live in hell. You know him, even Yes. Okay, amazing. How are we today? Okay, I need to probably pick this up anyway, I guess, and I can just make that. The first time okay, let's go get some sap caddies so I don't have to farm training bonds the other way. Because that'll make me want to die. <clears throat> so glad I farmed this when it came out and never have to touch it again. Yeah, well, yeah, fair enough. Well, see, I see that here's the problem is I don't think that Ticker asks for too much because Ticker is supposed to be an expensive shortcut. However, Ticker is not a shortcut whenever the main way is just the worst imaginable. Main medical bonds, the hardest ones to get. Oh, yeah, by far. It also doesn't help that, like, Fortuna has, like, the worst bounties of any open world. Like, far, far and away, it is the worst quality bounties. They are the longest, least rewarding fucking bounties that are available. They're a rare bounty drop. I mean, okay, so, they're listed as common. But yes, they are rare. Ah, uh, that common in quotes shit. Yeah. You're lucky you live all 13 and two bounties. Oh, no, 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 no. No matter what, it's not going to take two bounties because I'm going to farm it the right way. I'm not going to do entire bounties. I'm not an idiot. Oh, that's stupid. <clears throat> oh, I needed to go grab one animal while I was out here. Shit. Okay, I can just walk back out. I do prefer to be refishing. Well, sure. I don't mind any of the fishing. All, all the fishing is, like, fine. It's really obtuse, which I dislike, but mostly you can ignore it. Like, this game needs the fishing log, but, like, it's already been filled out. Was oh, that a Horask? Now yeah, that'll do. Thanks, bud. Need to make bonds like tokens on Deimos? 100% agree. If they did that, then Fortuna would be the easiest thing in the world to recommend to people. It would be so easy. <clears throat> but bonds are just like horrendously bad. 
The taxmen have imposed strict limits on the mining ventures we Solaris can undertake. There we are. As you were, as you were. Messages in your inbox, operator. Uh, they are not as encrypted as they should be. Take this exit roll, go get those bonds. The spears really matter when fishing. Technically, yes. They they don't matter. They don't matter on Deimos. And they only matter because there's an upgrade, which gives you like a little bonus effect on Venus. Um, but on Earth, the different spheres do different things. Yeah, or you could just use Volt, but that, you know. Yeah, on Earth, you need a spear chart for no reason. They could remove that. Operator, my foundry system has completed a build. Everything in orders, Operator? Is that a pun? Hmm. I will attempt to bypass this vault. All right, Ticker. Let's go get the rest of those training bonds I need for this dumb rank. Ticker. The temple teaches charity. Mortal oh, right, sin. I have to actually break down the, the staff caddies. I'll be here. To... Used to be, you had a problem. You can't. Good choice. I'll leave you to it. Handily done that. Until next time. Hell don't matter to Nav one whip. You're an engineer or lowly thrower. Ten you training, five shelters. A hell of an adventure, isn't it? I'll be here till it's me. Outworlder, we gonna do this? Sure, we can talk. Okay, so then all I have left on this rank is one of the worst grinds in the game. Copy that. Keep a shiny side up, Sparky. If we got the best bounty for this, I'll do it a little bit. If we didn't, then I'm not doing this shit. Lovely day for a little commerce. So here's the over-under. So you see this is medical uh, death bonds times two at common. And then you see on the rest of these how uh, they aren't here at all. You can't get them. Yeah, so that's kind of the whole fucking rub here. And the way that you farm these is you start this up. And then you do the first mission if it's really fast. Uh, well, you do the first mission no matter what to find out if it's really fast. If it's not really fast, you leave. If it is really fast, you do the first one. You do the second one if it's really fast. And then you on purpose fail and go re-pick this up. Extractors are inbound. Once they get here, you're gonna hijack them. Me That's all we have time for. I need you to ambush a coil drive. Find an EMP. And this is a super slow shitty one, so we're not gonna do this. Get out of there. Sit tight and get ready to move. Once the trap goes off, the taxmen are going to respond. There it is. Steady. Steady. And I think they don't change if you just come back in and go back out. I think that he doesn't cycle right away. Let's do a double check on that, though. 
not 100 percent certain it's been as long as i could possibly make it yeah no yeah it's still the same one okay so yeah the yeah there's no reason to do this Outside in Unicor Sync, okay, okay. Yeah, so I uh, can't do this right now. Basically, what you're looking for is just a super fast first objective and a super fast second objective, and then you have at least an okay shot at doing it. Um, otherwise, once you're past the first two objectives, there's basically no chance for you to realistically get medical depth bonds. Um, and so, yeah. First objective can change, even on the same one. Can it? When they do that. These used to be static. The last objective is always the same. Is it Deimos where they're fully static, or is it Planes where they're fully static? Meanwhile, I have a few things for you to take care of. Oh, Corpus airdrops. This one's not terrible. Can be fast. Okay, so yeah, this one can change. Yeah, if it's that fucking... Don't do that one. Yes, this one's nice and fast. An arm on one. Actually, not not bad. And then we will see what the second objective is. Here's the interesting bit. Yeah, coil drives. We want to start this up. I died to slash Brox, apparently. Yeah, the coil drive run is terrible. Before we continue, Neff's ordered supply drops for his troops. Our people need those nutrients. Then I can trace the supply codes to lead us toward them. Search the area. Neff and your supply caches are somewhere around here. Get them before the corpus team. Yes! Cache number one. The second cache. One more to go. Do the debt bonds. <laughs> ten out of ten, and I think I just worked something out. Humor me. Neff's got a coil drive patrolling the valleys. Ambush it, and I'll rip the data maps. It'll provide key info on what we're looking for. Hey, kid. Waste three minutes of your life. No. Remember, if I'm going to rip its data maps, we need that coil drive in one piece. Do you see it? It's headed right for the trap. But yeah, so like basically the TLDR is if you're actually doing this third bounty, it'll probably take you six to twelve hours if you're actually doing the whole thing. This way, it's pretty tough to tell how long it's going to take. You could get really lucky, and it could take like an hour. You could get really unlucky, and it'll still take like five. Hell of a show. Found something useful too. 
Listen to this. Left's got a coil drive patrolling the valleys. Ambush it and I'll rip the data maps. It'll provide key info on what we're looking for. Hold position. Once the coil drive hits the trap, protect it. <clears throat> there it is. Steady. Steady. Went from mag to this frame, I call cheat. On what? I farmed this warframe. You can farm any warframe in the game. So, uh, what do you need? Corpus extractors are inbound. SU needs weapons, ammo, and parts. Fortunately, Nick just air dropped a bunch of that across the ballast. Nick the lot. Search the area. Nap and your supply caches are somewhere around here. Get them before the corpus do. First cache tagged. On to the next. The second cache. That leaves just one more and I can signal for pickup. Let's see where the other one landed. Oh, here it is. We farm for today. I'm trying to get medical debt bonds. Okay, all right, we're getting lucky. Someone's getting fired over We're getting lucky. But here's the interesting bit: the shipping code on that last crate matches something from my records. I want to follow a hunch. Our informant reports a coil drive running a standard picket. Prep for ambush. Sit tight and get ready to move. Once the trap goes off, the taxmen are going to respond. I have it on sensors. Once it <clears> hits the trap, get down there. Always fancy the life for action, mate. Except. You know, an old injury and an aversion to having a cauterized hole blown through me parts. Corpus extractors are inbound. Look around. The goods are here somewhere. If the tax must secure them first, the missions are washed. Oh, this is like a little hack of. Yes, cash number one. Hold up. That's a digitized manifest. It should tell us where the remaining caches are located. <laughs> Forgot that could even happen. Good work. Conduct a quick sweep for the remaining cache. All pockets picked and in record. Armon Lens, not bad. Hell of a show, Sparky. Hell of a show. <clears throat> Found something useful, too. Listen to Rude. This. I need you to ambush a coil drive. Find your EMP line, disable the drive, then protect it. Once I've ripped it, get to mass, get out of there. Wait for the trap, then get down there. Remember, if I'm going to rip its data mass, we need that coil drive in one piece. Do you see it? It's headed right for the trap. Wait for the four hours of Fortuna bounties just to get the debt bonds. It's just stupid to have Fortuna take this long to rank up. Yup. You see something you want to tackle? I'll get you to go on the blow up. You need to start the next stage after you get the debt bonds to keep them. Uh, you don't have to start the next stage, but I have to start it in order for to be able to fail it. All right, let's deal with the first order of business. Taxman supply drop incoming. Count three. Find him. Steal him. Searching for clues. SU needs those supplies more than the corpus. Lock them down before the taxman make off with them. Right, first cache. Two to go. The second okay. cache. One more to go. Give me that. Give, give to me. Give. 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 Acquire. 
I am mashing X. Give to me. Give. Give. Okay. If I'm doing quests here than on Earth. Quests? Uh oh, there's the quest is about the same. In terms of bounties, Earth is way better. Lovely day for a little comment. <clears throat> Corpus extractors are inbound. Is Rashuna looks the best out of all the open worlds? You think so? Meanwhile, I have hmm. a few things for you to take care of. All right, let's deal with the first order of business. SU needs weapons, ammo, and parts. Search the area. Net and your supply caches are somewhere around here. Get them before the corpus. I'd say maybe Fortuna is like tied. Yes, cache number one. Fortuna and Deimos, I would I would tie together in terms of best looking. Although Deimos gets a minus for being a little unreadable. You did that so fast, they never even got to wake their supervisor. <laughs> ten out of ten, and I think I just worked something out. Humor me. Uh, like I got the Caliber loop down easy, but Varuna, is she also a heavy attack frame. The better way to play her is as a heavy attack frame. But when you do that, it's not like Calervo. Um, go, go watch my most recent Ver uh, Veruna video. She's like a weirdo. Now, no time for a break. I have it on sensors. Once it hits the trap, get down there. Virgin has my favorite music personally. Now I get that. I definitely get that. I think Deimos gets a lot of credit from me because I think that, like, the characters in Deimos are, like, way more interesting. Take a run, and I'll patch you through. Corpus extractors are inbound. Once they get here, you're gonna hijack them. Meanwhile, Hello, Adderall. I have a few things for you to take care of. All right, let's deal with the first... Oh, well, really lucky with getting Corpus airdrops here on, like, the first do. one. Ness ordered supply drops for his troops. Out... SU needs those supplies more than the corpus. Lock them down before the chapsmen make off with them. First cash tagged. On to the next. Good work. Conduct a quick sweep for the remaining cash. Also, it should go without saying, but do not do this if you do not have an arc wing. Ta-ta, lovelies. <clears throat> Our informant reports a coil drive running a standard picket. Prep for ambush. Hold position. Once the coil drive hits the trap, protect it. There it is. Steady. Oh, I couldn't tell Steady. you, Tom. I do not remember. Maybe don't do this even if you have an arc wing. Yeah, you could just wait until they maybe eventually make it better, but this is how it is right now. You see something you want to tackle? I'll get you to go on the blow. Corpus extractors are inbound. Once they get here, you're gonna hijack them. Meanwhile, I have a few things for you to take care of. You have to give your first bounty if you abandon. Yeah. SU needs weapons, ammo, and parts. Fortunately, Neth just airdropped a bunch of them. Look around. The goods are here somewhere. If the taxmen secure them first, the missions are washed. Right, first cash. Two to go. The 
second catch. One more to go. Actually, a pretty good way to get circuits, which is kind of funny. Also, yeah, I reached the daily That's limit for reps, so isn't that amazing? Listen to this. I need you to ambush a coil drive. Find an EMP mine, disable the drive, then protect it. Once I've ripped its data mask, get out of there. Sit tight and get ready to move. Once the trap goes off, the taxmen are going to respond. I have it on sensors. Imagine the new player not knowing an abandoned trick and just grinding. Yeah, they'd quit Warframe. They they would spend like three hours, never get one, and then they would quit. Like the the absolute minimum. I would say that this is the floor of what DE should do, is have each tier of bounty award at least three of the tier bond it is. So, like, if you do the whole bounty of tier three, you'll get at least three. Like, that should be the floor. That way, like, you only need to do four max of that bounty. Or I think you need 13 for some fucking reason, but whatever. You only need to do five max at least if you never get a drop. Like that would even just that would go so far. Or like have the first stage always be bonds. That would help immensely. Mind the long way. Yep. Remember farming mine the long way. That shit sucked. Right for the trap. I mean, realistically, this isn't much faster. I've only got four, and I've gotten very lucky, I would say, because they're not fucking common, no matter what they tell you. Lovely day for a little comment. Extractors are inbound. Once they get here, you're gonna hijack them. Like, I want to put it this way: medical debt bonds are less common than some prime parts. And no, I'm not kidding or exaggerating. Right, first cash. Two to go. Why? What an excellent question. It's as soul crushing as real medical debt. I don't think it's quite that crushing. I forgot I have to go over here. Ambush it and I'll rip the data mask. It'll provide key info on what we're looking for. Hold position. Once the coil drive hits the trap, protect it. There it is. Steady. Steady. Take a run, and I'll patch you through. Corpus extractors are inbound. Once they get here, you're gonna hijack them. Me That's all from me. Before we continue, Neff's ordered supply drops for his troops. Our people need those nutrients. And I can trace the supply codes to SU needs those supplies more than the corpus. 
Lock them down before the taxmen make off with them. Yes, cash number one. Oh, oh yes. Sparky, they've left their manifest. Hack it and find out where the rest of our loot is. Good work. Conduct a quick sweep for the remaining cash. You know, this giving you polymer and circuits like kind of a lot of the time is really not actually bad at all. I totally forgot about that aspect. Oh my god, I can't believe we're basically halfway done. Unbelievable. We're so fucking lucky. I need you to ambush a core drive. Plant an EMP mine, disable the drive, then protect it. Once I've ripped its data mass, get out of there. Like, I know we got basically, like, one of the best bounty setups almost, but, like, still. Remember, if I'm going to rip its data mass, we need that coil drive in one piece. There it is. Steady. Steady. Base lock down, comms up. Now, no time for a break. This account's draining your luck for the next you. years. Oh, yeah, fully expect. I'm going to get on the main account, and the new update's going to launch, and I'm going to be trying to farm something, and it's going to be like, oh, you going to die today. I also forgot that could be in there. The second cache. One more to go. Now there's a piece of luck. The corpus manifest. See if you can hack it. If we're lucky, it'll double our search time. You did that so fast, they never even got to wake their supervisor. <laughs> ten out of ten, and I think I just worked something out. Humor me. Our informant reports a coil drive running a standard picket. Threat for ambush. Sit tight and get ready to move. Once the trap goes up, Corpus suffers from being a failed experience. They won't. Is it Orvalance that we have the most problems with? Uh, Orvalance hasn't been fixed as much as the other two, is the answer, actually. It's not that Orvalis was a failed experiment. Uh, there are things about this that are a failed experiment. Uh, but they're actually relatively minor. Um, the reason we have so many problems is because they just haven't gone back and fixed this one. They went back and fixed, uh, planes. <clears throat> and they fixed Deimos, like, on launch. Like, we, like, literally, like, if DE takes a pass at this, then, like, there's basically a 99% chance that then this is totally fine, like the other two. But, like, they just haven't taken a pass at fixing, ranking this shit up. Uh, and because that just hasn't happened yet, it is the worst one. I'll throw money at them to take a pass at this. Yeah, wow. Well. Maybe they'll take a pass at it post cross save. Maybe. Neff's got a coil drive patrolling the valleys. <clears throat> I mean, in terms of the new player experience, it's going to be kind of the last thing that I'm going to be like, oh, yeah. Because, like, they're fixing the Necromech stuff. I don't know, like, if it's going to be totally fixed, but, like, they're fixing it. Um, We'll see what, like, it completely changes with that on launch. Um, They're removing the MR requirement stuff from the main story quest, which was my other complaint that I had. That stuff is actively going to be fixed. So, really, I think the Fortuna grind is going to be the last, like, new player problem. That's really going to be there, besides that Eidolons uh, don't have, like, a great teaching community because of the timer. Which, that's, like, more minor. Because if you fix Fortuna, then people don't need to do Eidolons to get their damn amps, and they can just solo Eidolons, whatever. <clears throat> we still have to build a mech, that's still an issue. Well, apparently, um, they are also editing the costs for the mech again. And if they put them low enough, it will cease to matter. Nap 
Because, like, what, what I just farmed, yes, would be very problematic for a new player. But apparently, we are going to get more changes to that. Alongside the mechs themselves being easier to fight. I'm going to have so many Naramon lenses, dude. God, I wish these were Matter Eye lenses so bad. I don't have to do any demo standings kind of blah for new players. Well, that's that's the thing, right? Uh, imagine a world. Imagine this world. They just make it so you don't like they you cut the hardest to get part from all of the necromech parts, and then you make it take the unrefined version of all the gems, and it's like, oh, okay. You do a little mining, and then you have a mech. I'd be like, sure. At that point, all I'm wishing for is not to have a three-day build time on a thing that's required for the story, right? There it is. Steady. Steady. <clears throat> all right, remember again what Max Green Fortuna gets new players. Uh, it gives you the ability to go get the really good amp parts from the secondary syndicate. Lovely day for a little comment. I think it's good for Eidolon hunts. Yeah, well, it's it's like it's the thing. Meanwhile, I have a few things for you to take care of. All right, let's deal with the first order of business. SU needs weapons, ammo, and parts. Fortunately, Ness just airdropped a bunch of them. Look around, the goods are here somewhere. If the taxmen secure them first, the missions are washed. First cash tagged. On to the next. Good work. Conduct a quick sweep for the remaining cash. The Grunus 4 was more gimmicky? More? Do you mean that it, like, leaned harder into it, or it had more gimmick to it? I need you to ambush a coil drop. Plant an EMP mine, disable the drive, then protect it. Once I've ripped its data mask, get out of there. Sit tight and get ready to move. Once the trap goes off, the taxmen are going to respond. The AUG really helps. The AUG doesn't really help. It makes it work at all. <laughs> Which, like, those are similar statements. But they have a bit of a different tinge to them, don't they? You see something you want to tackle? I'll get you to go on the blow -up. They leaned into it. There's no leaps and mauling and shit. Yeah. Well, there are leaps. Is this it? No, no, this is the first one I picked up. Oh, here it is. It's up here. Okay. Like, shit, dude. We have eight. Okay. God, I am so fucking lucky. New update RNG is going to screw me. I'm so sorry for anyone watching this VOD of me doing this and being like this mother. Once the coil drive hits the trap, protect it. I have it on sensors. Once it hits the trap, get down there. Pillar thing was here yesterday that you wanted. What? The pillar thing was here yesterday? What do you mean by that? Weather like this, I do not miss my organics. So, uh, what I'm here to mean? learn as much as possible, so do you. <laughs> Fair enough. Are Once they get here, if anyone has any questions down. about stuff while we're doing this, well, please I feel free to ask. Get him before the corpus team. 
Right, first cache. Two to go. The second cache. That leaves just one more and I can signal to pick up. Let's check what's next. <clears throat> the planters you use to make fillers. Oh, it's random. That that's actually not synced up for everyone. I had it though. Congratulations. There it is. Steady. Steady. <clears throat> Planning on doing an update of Valkyrie build. Seems a little outdated now. Um, <clears throat> the sadness is that there isn't one. That is my... The, the sad reality I have to deliver to you is that there isn't one. That update made it so Valkyrie was kind of playable. And if you want her to be kind of playable, you just have to suffer through the worst version of it now, basically. I know that's not what anyone wants to hear, but... I can just get Baruch and use him. Well, yeah. Asher Shuriken is still better than Steinax's bitch slap. No, I mean, you can use Steinax's, but it's such a minor difference. I need you to ambush a coil drive. Plant an EMP mine, disable the drive, then protect it. Once I've ripped its data mass, get out of there. Wait for the trap, then get down there. Remember, if I'm going to rip its data mass, we need that coil drive in one piece. I have it on sensors. Once it hits the trap, get down there. Yeah, Baruch is like, hey, what if Valkyr was good? Are people meaning mainly running for that now? For what? Take a run, and I'll patch you through. Corpus extractors are inbound. Once they get here, you're gonna. Taxman supply drop incoming. Count three. Find him, steal him, search him for clues. Waypoint mark. Search the area. Net and your supply caches are somewhere around here. Get him before the corpus does. Yes, cache number one. The second cache. That leaves just one more and I can signal for pickup. Boop -boop 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 -boop. Four pockets picked and in record time. Hell of a show, Sparky. Hell of a show. Found something useful, too. Listen to this. No. You design a frame completely from scratch, what would you make? Uh, I usually actually don't like this thought exercise, because, like, I can just say anything, and, like, there's a million good ideas for Warframes. Like, I'm much more about, like, fixing things that aren't good, because, like, a new thing is, like, there's like things I've thought of as like this is a frame rework, but also it could just be a new frame, right? Well, always fancy the life of action, mate. Except, you know, an old injury. Easy to come up with a basic idea. It's hard to refine it into a playable concept. Yeah, exactly. Corpus extractors are inbound. Once they get here, you're gonna hijack them. Meanwhile, I have a few things for you to take care of. All right, let's deal with the first order of things. Look around. The goods are here somewhere. If the tax to secure them first, the missions are washed. Right, first cash. Two to go. Oh, there was one down here. It was lower than I expected. Good work. Conduct a quick sweep for the remaining cash. Tortilla being a good example. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> 
We still just use Theros right for Baruch. Yeah, it's kind of his only real choice, other than Empower, but they're both, like, relatively minor. He doesn't even need the Baruch hit. Or not the Baruch hit. The, uh, the Steinex, like, Shield Slam. He doesn't even need that. Is it possible to trade for medical debt bonds with Ticker? Theoretically, yes. Once in several hundred years, Ticker will have medical debt bonds. There it is. Steady. Steady. Face locked down, comms up. It actually, so they made a change that hasn't stuck. Um, where you are supposed to be able to, supposed to be able to always buy one of each tier from Ticker. There's supposed to always be one purchase option of each different level of bond. They did that change, and then it didn't stick. And they they haven't fixed it. They reverted on purpose? I don't think so. <clears throat> oh, shit. We're actually getting insanely lucky. We're, like, almost done. I can't actually believe that shit. It's only been, what, an hour? Like, we're on, like, the insane low end of how long this can take. I farmed Wise Razor for two hours for this. Lovely day for a little comment. Yeah, ten out of thirteen bonds. Also, so frustrating that it's you need thirteen. So frustrating that you need thirteen. Well, I have a few things for you to take care of. All right, let's deal with the first order. Because even in Ticker, they're usually offered in quantities of six. So it's like, just, it's a little fuck you, just for fun. Like, I don't know why you need, like, exactly a premium currency amount of medical debt bonds, but it pisses me off. Holy shit, bro. Yeah, we're on like the crazy low end of how long this can take to fucking farm. This is, it's not super likely for it to only take this amount of time. This is like really, with, with one of the good versions of the bounty too. Like, holy shit. Yeah, I better sleep with fucking both eyes open. The hat man is gonna get me. Do you see it? It's headed right for the trap. Take a run and I'll you the funny part is that it's always whenever I'm not on my main account and I'm on a free-to-play through, whenever everyone's, like, the streamer client. <laughs> whenever I'm on my main account, like, most of the time, it's like, eh, you know, average luck has been achieved. Before we continue, Ness ordered supply drops for his troops. Our people need those new trees. Look around. The gifts are here somewhere. Which, like, average luck has been achieved is also, like, very good, of course. But this is, like, this account has experienced some really short farms. Where I gotta go over here. Someone's getting fired over this. But here's the interesting bit. 
The shipping code on that last so remember the rare canister on Earth from the last free to play through? Yeah, the like second mission we ever played, and it was like, here's a rare crate, bro. Do you use a lucky frame? I do not. Our informant reports a coil drive running a standard picket. Prep for ambush. Hold position. Once the coil drive hits the trap, protect it. Revenant, the best frame to deal with small sentience when hunting tritalons. Steady. No, I mean, yeah, no, just no. He's actually very bad at that. Any particular reason beyond I have everything? Oh, uh, no, not really. I don't really, I, I just don't have a use for it. Corpus extractors are inbound. Once they get here, you're going to hijack them. Meanwhile, I have a few things for you to take care of. Doesn't his four just clear them? It can, but it's kind of wonky about it. Like Kalervo would be better at that. Good work. Conduct a quick sweep for the remaining cash. Hold up. That's a digitized manifest. It should tell us where the remaining caches are. Holy fuck. Dude. Okay, someone tell me exactly how much time that was. Somebody somebody figure out when we started. Cause that was crazy short. That was crazy short. I am not even at eight hours of stream yet. Yeah, that was like an hour, which is insanely fast. I could submit that shit to speedrun.com. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Make it quick. What's it gonna be? Solaris United don't trust easy. But. Moving on, moving on. Be lucky. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I guess, I guess. Thanks, Fortuna, for cooperating. Watch Ticker have some now. That would be really funny, also. Well, well. Here comes hope for the hopeless. Give me training shelter. Training shelter. Training shelter. Advances and training shelter. I have other. I'll be here. Roughly 45 minutes. Yeah, that's absurd. They stealth buff medicals into commons. Medicals are have always supposed to be commons, so if anything, that would be a fix. Also, even still, you shouldn't have to quit farm that goddamn mission in order to get a reasonable amount of medical debt bonds. How much time do we have before the TGA? Uh, it's tomorrow, so like... You've got roughly 17 hours or so. A streamer would affect Fortuna? I don't know, apparently. <laughs> I don't even have it on. Oh, wait, sorry, you're asking a real question, not, like, making a joke about, like, the streamer client. Yes, the streamer mode does entirely affect Fortuna. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The medical one's the only bad ones to get. Usually, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, usually Ticker is actually pretty decent about, like, giving you the other ones. And then, like, so... Otherwise, these are the same rarity, I think. Theoretically. Theoretically. You also... I think you, I think you need less... Of the other ones, like the advances and the familial, I think you need less. We could use you. Actually, do you? I don't, you never need familial, do you? Maybe you do for the final rank. Ready for Tenocon 24? I am. 
gonna be sick. Do you know when the update comes today exactly? It doesn't, so yes. I guess I do know that it does not happen at all. There's a 0% chance that that occurs, so so I, I do know, yes. Man, they really should not have said on stream anything about uh, December 7th, huh? Because everybody thought that that was a release date. It's not coming out. They're announcing the release date. It could be tomorrow. It can't, it can't be tomorrow. We, we know it's not tomorrow. Rebecca said it's not tomorrow. It is not the 7th. We know it will not come out on the 7th. Rebecca said it does not come out on the 7th. And as it is currently the 7th, I know it doesn't come out on the 6th. Oh, don't say the 16th. Oh, that would be bad. That would, that would make me feel bad. Be very concerned. Tomorrow's the 8th. I guess that's true. It could be the 8th. Think of the ninth or tenth. Nope. I I could like if it comes out on the ninth or tenth, I will be extremely surprised. Absolute soonest possible is the eleventh. That is the absolute soonest possible is the eleventh if you're going past the ninth. Or if you're going past the eighth. The 8th is the only potential day you could drop it between the 7th and the 10th. Yeah, the, th the 13th, I think, is a very reasonable bet. Oh, the, oh, yeah, 11 to 13, I think, is super likely. That feels super reasonable. I think th I think 13th is probably a safe bet. That, that feels reasonable to me. Why 16 bad? We're getting way too close to Christmas. That means that's that that's three days. Operator, also, the 16th is a Saturday. Your attention. Please check your inbox at your earliest convenience. Well, it's a lazy night between the stars for you and me. While out there, the system is still on fire. You can't publish exact day, don't give date. What are we talking about? And in between the little people like you and me, well, we're just trying not to get stepped on. Okay, just to be clear, I'm not a dev. I don't know when it comes out. I'm guessing. I'm not saying you. I'm the only one who's given a range of dates. <laughs> We're getting the exact day tomorrow, well, today now, on the 7th, at the Game Awards, on this stream, where you can also get the Sevagoth drop. They're going to tell us the date. They haven't given us a range. Operator, did you hear that? It said... Cosmic background radiation is a riot. On dev stream, they told it. No, they didn't. On the dev stream, they said December 7th is the day we will tell you when the update is going to come out. We'll be on the Game Awards. That is what they said. They told us when we could expect the announcement of the date, which is going to happen on the day they said.
Most people not paying attention moment. Yeah. They, also, though, I think that, like, realistically, they probably should have said, we're going to be at the TGAs and not told us that they were going to tell us the date for whispers at the TGAs. Because, like, <laughs> it's made, like, they confused so many people into thinking that the update was coming out on the 7th. FDA being dropped during TGA is absolutely something that Warframe would do. I agree with that. However, Rebecca stated explicitly on Twitter they are not launching it at the Game Awards. A uh, second competency point I don't have yet. Oh, sorry, the third competency point is what I don't have yet. Okay, there are four repair, three endurance. That's fine. Um, I mean, I guess you can have the Vectus. That's, like, fine. Yeah, sh sure. No scope them, I guess. Is, uh, is this something they have done in the past? Yes. They launched the the update where it was optimal to quit playing Warframe for two years that way. What kind of weapons should I give my Defender crewmate? You should give them a Kuva Nucor or a Tenet Cycron with full mods. Except note that galvanized mods don't work for them and neither do Arcanes. All right, best reactor's now building. Plating is already building. I still need more ISOs for this, but that's not too bad. Um, <clears throat> If I got the other thing I needed, I can just go do like the first mission of Railjack. Not to have it be a big deal. Uh-oh, another Warframe Ray for two years coming? I don't think so. Warframe's been killing it recently. Uh, the way Railjack went was a not well received update into one of the worst updates ever released. Um. <laughs> but that shit's hilarious, though, Sarah. Look at Worm just worming out up there. Clear this sector. A decisive first strike will increase odds of victory by 147%. Alert. Enemy fighters have been scrambled. They called some friends. Enemy cruise ship has punched in.
You know, I actually just realized something. I don't know what that material I'm looking for actually looks like when it's just floating around in space. <clears throat> Are they just like little blue dots? Stones. Do you have any ISIS so far? I got 13 of them. Well, whatever. They're in there somewhere. Oh, I, I just picked them up. Okay, well, fair enough. Oh, there's Ironclad Matrix. That's the really good Matrix. Hell yeah. That's exactly what I wanted, actually. There's nine more ISOs. I love you, Particle Ram. How much do I have now? 22, sure. Not terrible. Pilfering particle ram, pretty much. Shatterburst is hilarious for getting resources. Wait, is it really? I have Shatterburst. Oh, well, I guess the big problem is that, like, Particle Ram is just, like, insanely efficient is most of the reason why I'm using it. Because I, I don't have, like, a lot of energy support. It seems like ISOs usually come from those little turret clusters. I'll keep that in mind. Surviving Vernier will spread the word. Mission.
Execution resolved. Yeah, particle ram is better now. I think the combined shards will be cool, but I hope they make them actually viable to use and not just niche shards. That's fair. I do. I, I think they're going to be more niche, but I think they're going to be like really good at the things that they do. That's what I'm hoping. Another job well executed. <clears throat> The Ironclad Matrix actually big pickup here. This is like the best new player matrix, and it's not close. It is not even relatively close. Hit them where it hurts. It's honestly convenient to use Fires even if you're experienced, vector. legitimately. Fire at will. Another tonic nozzle. Do you have enough data to rail check build floating around somewhere? Um no, that is a thing that I do need to make though. <laughs> I think the page that lists all of the best parts for the rail check is also still in whip on the website too, actually. You know that one pinned post and builds from Vinny, if you need the reference? Oh, that's fair. But I think I already have the page, like, mostly constructed. It just doesn't have a video to go with it. Seven ISOs. I think that's the last one I need, actually. I have picked up 46 ISOs, apparently. Okay, yeah, no, I'm done. Real dogs rough, I'd say even three in each intrinsic is much better. Oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the best thing in Railjack is always going to be we'll join a friend and, like, do a mission. Like, do five missions in Veil with a friend on R9 or H2 Cloud. And then you'll have everything you're going to need to have a good time with Railjack, is, like, basically the TLDR. Or even with randoms, just joining randomly is just so worth it.
Okay, now the engines are building. Yeah, so I'll have Levon engines, Levon plating. I'll have a fucking maxed out Zedki reactor, which is hilarious. Not super hard to get, but really funny that I just rolled the maxed out one. That's very funny. Uh, and then I have a Zedki shield array. Do I have the stuff for this? Uh, yeah, I do. I just, I just have it. Okay. Uh, here, hold on. Before I do that. This one's better. <clears throat> cool. And then I'll also have a shield. Then I have, like, the best main guns. Side guns don't matter super a lot. I think I have enough just to, like, make another... I can make Levon side guns. These are better for newer players. That's a 58. Okay, well, I guess I'll make those. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. That's, oh, yeah, I have a full kit now. Hey, we did it. We made a full kit for the Railjack. Then in here, we have Ironclad Matrix now, so we can put that in. We have the two crit mods. We can put predator and section density in. Uh, and then. Uh, I'm probably slamming conic nozzle in, I think. Ion burn is tempting, though. Probably just ion burn. It's cheaper, anyway. Yeah, and then we're just going to click mods. Max out Iron Clan Matrix for a huge amount of survivability. Max out our critical chance because damage. Max out our critical damage because damage. <clears throat> um... Then max out ion burn because it's cheap and fast is good. What is this? What does this do when it's upgraded? Nothing. Doesn't actually even do anything notably different, so I'm not gonna bother. Um neat. And then the only other thing is. Shatter, do I have a Shatter Burst leveled already? I do have a Shatter Burst leveled already, so I don't need to worry about that. What changes with Blackout Pulse whenever you upgrade this? Anything? Oh, it's damage and radius. Okay. That actually doesn't matter. Radius is cool and all. I mean, I guess I might as well level it halfway. Only it's like not very expensive. So yeah, sure. I'll level it halfway. This is the one we always use. I'll level it halfway. It's too expensive to level the other way. Okay, cool. And this build's basically done. Like, I, I guess I have room for other stuff. Which I guess is going to be Conic Nozzle just to go fast. <clears throat> is there another time to get Sevagoth or did I miss it? That's tomorrow. What's the use case for Aura Forma? If you want to switch auras between two different polarity auras. Or just have to never worry about it. What's the best hand for Eidolons? Is it the 777? It's a 177. Is the best. 777 is going to be just fine. Though. Yeah, 
and then eventually Void Hole will be replaced with the uh, many, many missiles. But also having the many, many missiles is predicated on having a Warframe that can actually support that playstyle, so I'm not super worried about it. Yeah, so we were able to put together the entire Railjack build, basically. Like, just the whole thing, which is hilarious. Do you use 747? I use a 747, that's correct. Most of the time. Frog Jack, this is the bullfrog. Why doesn't it say that? It's supposed to say that. I labeled this. What the fuck? Bullfrog. Should have named it after that frog that can eat birds. Hey, yo. What's the frog that can eat birds? I should not have named it Pepe. I'm actually all right. Goliath Toad, if I remember correctly. I will change the name of this thing to that. There was a specific frog with a reputation for eating birds. I was wrong. It is a frog. It is a frog. It's not a toad. That's even better. I was just willing to accept that it was a toad, but the fact that it's a frog is even better. Reputation like the frog's got street cred. It does, though. Like, if, if someone comes into this chat and they're like, what about naming it after the frog what eat birds? And I'm like, which frog is that? And it's like the Goliath frog. I'm like, okay. That, like, if the first thing you tell me is this frog is known for eating birds, that's, yeah. Like, that's like, you, like, you know what a grizzly bear is known for? Killing anything. Yeah, that's its fucking street cred. People, people are like, yeah, grizzly bears are insanely dangerous. And then the first thing a lot of people go to is, did you know that a tiger fought a grizzly bear and the grizzly bear one swiped its whole head off? That's real. That's like the list is like grizzly bear. Holy shit, they can kill anything. And then, and then it is followed by that fun fact. Like, grizzly bears get a list of achievements. At, like, as, like... Good lord. <laughs> Googled this frog. Holy shit, that boy is thick. <laughs> okay, Mara, I hate to burst your bubble on this one. Moose is not above tiger. Or, sorry, Moose is not below Tiger. 
to be very clear. Moose is for sure above Tiger. One Tiger is not fucking with a Moose. Like, Moose are on a fighting playing field with a Grizzly Bear. They probably won't win. But they're on fighting territory. <laughs> Not a fun fact for the tiger. Very nice. Oh, man, that boy is huge. That Goliath frog is a huge boy. Damn. Do not let this Goliath frog near children. You will consume them. Yeah, polar bears are... Polar bears are a, a, a colossally fucked up. Did you know... Okay, this is my last fun fact about bears. Not a fun fact, by the way. Did you know that the warming of the of the world in terms of like the fucking ice caps and shit has actually pushed polar bears further south than they'd normally be, causing grizzly bears to breed with some polar bears? Creating hybrid creatures? <laughs> this is not a fun fact. This fact is the least fun it's ever been. <laughs> what in the fuck? Yeah, it's bad. It's, it's bad. It's not good. It's bad out there. You don't want that. Excuse me? Yep. Oh, that's correct. <laughs> ah, sweet. Man-made horrors beyond my imagination. That sounds terrible. It, yeah, no, it's a bad time. You do not want that. <laughs> Nature really said it is time to find out. So light brown bears... Hope they are zebra striped. I do not think that they are. <clears throat> also, yeah, that's true. That is not man-made horrors. That those are bear-made horrors, actually. That is true. Breach Surge Mag is pretty good. Oh yeah, Breach Surge Mag Breach Surge Mag is pretty hilarious. Inbox messages await the operator. So basically the Goliath the Bullfrog is just the real life Gitrog monster? Okay. Number one, you do not understand how big the Gitrog monster is. And number two, if we had Gitrog monsters, we would be in a different kind of trouble. Like that is a brand new varietal of trouble. That creates a new genre of trouble. Like I need I need to be the one to tell you that a Gitrog monster is a rideable creature. It is a mount or a full size human. Like a big human, actually. Absurd, absurdian thank you for thank you for the image of the get rog yeah yeah it's a bit of a different that, that is an exaggeration on how big they are in in canon but yeah never form a consonant again but at least you will not be dead athalia gets along with it that's true i 
I post a link to Paul Lizzie Baird. Sure. Oh, whoops. They're called Growler Bears? I hate that. Oh, thank you, Tom. So I'm looking at the secret layer art for Get Rogue, and I choose to believe they are friend. Fair. That's fair enough. Yeah, you have to be subbed to post a link, or you need to get perms. Alright, is there anything else we need to do? Uh, we... <laughs> Not only did we do the Railjack quest today, we also, like, just made the whole thing. We made the whole Railjack. Um, we somehow managed to, to work in grinding the medical bonds that we would need to rank up Fortuna, which is mysterious at best. Um, so, I think all that's left is pretty much we gotta wait. I still gotta, I still gotta wait two days for the Void Rig. And then we also we yeah we also worked the helmet segment in there. That's gonna be done. That's all good. Yeah, good progress. A streamer bias. I spent four months grinding those fucking med bonds. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I get it. You yeah, know the uh, the obscene luck that was just uh, on display here today is a uh, is a whole thing. Yeah. I wish it was always that easy. If it was always that easy, I wouldn't really have complaints about it. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to stop us somewhere else, though. Right? Like, we're going to get screwed on one of the other bonds that you don't normally get screwed on. Like, that's got to be what's going to happen to us. <clears throat> Another wise razor. It's got to happen at some point. Uh, but yeah, regardless... I think that's going to do it for stream. A shorter one this time around, but I think that's just fine. Uh, tomorrow, for anyone hanging out, especially those of you on YouTube, because this is going to be, you're going to have to go to Twitch for this. Uh, tomorrow is the um, the TGAs. Uh, tomorrow's the TGAs. So with that, I'm going to be streaming. I will have drops as I did sign up to be part of the drops campaign. Uh, so if you are watching my stream tomorrow, you will get the Sevagoth drop. And also, just in general, we're going to be hanging out, watching the whole TGAs. Sarah should be there for, like, probably most of it. Um, and, yeah, should be, a, should be a good time. Like, probably me and Sarah are going to hang out and do some other stuff first. Don't know what that's going to, like, entirely entail. Um, but it, it should be fun. Uh, hopefully, that release date isn't something like... Like, man, like, just... If it's before the 16th, then I'm like, okay... If it's not, panic. That's that's basically where I'm at right now. That's basically where I'm where I'm hanging out and chilling at right now. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be doing it for stream though. Thanks all for hanging out for all the the subs and all of the good business. It is much appreciated, especially those of you on Twitch. Now you guys don't get your notifications during the free to play through streams, uh, just for the purposes of them being better uh, as like vods for people to hang out and watch. Um, and also for if I need to go back and like get footage out of them later, it makes it not impossible. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on. I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll get the, yeah, we'll also we'll get all the world first, get the world premieres and all that stuff as well. And we'll see, uh, what all's going down. But yeah, good stuff. Good progress. We're pretty much exactly where I want to be on the free to play through. Oh, you know what? As another little update real quick, uh, if you guys are wondering, so this is like the, the, the whip. I changed the thing. I've been moving stuff around. The site is about to get like a huge fucking update. Um, this is what the critical progression route is looking like right now. Uh, tomorrow, both the Nata and the second dream videos come out, which was where I wanted to get to for release with this. I've actually also included Deadlock Protocol as an optional quest that won't have a video yet. Rising Tide that won't have a video yet. Um... Then the Pluto Sedna Junction and also War Within, which won't have a video yet because it's not edited. Uh, and then all, that goes all the way to obtaining the Moat Amp. Uh, so that is going to be, this is going to be the initial release. And then, of course, there's like a little where's the rest note. Uh, so that is, um, that is what's up with like what the first release is going to be. 
Um, this should come out on Saturday. Saturday is the plan uh, for when this is going to launch and like be available and be like, hey, here, here's, here's the new player thing that goes from Awakening all the way through to, well, right now obtaining the Moat Amp. Eventually that will go all the way through New War, Angels of the Zarm, on, so on and so forth. Um, and should be really good. I'm very excited to have this thing be like in a like released state, even though it won't be totally done. Like it'll be the first half of what I want to get done with this thing. Uh, I'm gonna add more optionals and stuff in here. As you can see, the Kulervo stuff and Duviri haven't been added in here yet. Those are gonna get added in later because there's just like a lot more editing and guide work to do on that before it's ready. Um, but I did go through and do the uh, farm and build Rhino page, which has. Uh, full information on farming all of that stuff early and exactly what you need in order to do that so people can get Rhino and he can do all this stuff that I've been doing with Calervo pretty easily anyhow. Uh, but yeah, that's um, that's what's going on with the critical progression route for anyone that was curious. Uh, and that is going to do it for stream. For I will see you guys tomorrow for TGAs. Uh, enjoy, get some sleep. Goodbye!